we'll go without. Fuck it, we'll do it acapella. Last we left off with the bronze. Fuck it, we'll do it live. <laughs> <laughs> Our heroes, if you can call them that, had fended off a <laughs> rattling attack in Main Gate, saving most of a family that had held out. Um, after some altercations with a recent new friend, everybody had reconvened back at Shinebright, where Bess and um, Alistair had taken some time to settle in the remainder of the family they had saved and make sure they were at least relatively comfortable. Uh, meanwhile, Six continued to put Savaris on fucking blast. Um, <laughs> and eventually, Savaris, sensing he was very unwelcome, decided to leave. But not before Doran actually had a rather good talk with him. Um, after Savaris had left, Doran turned to Six and asked about the hostilities. <laughs> And some good conversation ensued, and what what followed was half an hour of such good RP, but just from everybody. I awarded everybody inspiration because it was great. Uh, eventually, though, um, Doran will be expecting some sort of letter or message in some some form <laughs> from Savaris, as he had many questions for Savaris uh, that that answers were promised. After these events had taken place um the group reconvened with the commander to decide their next move where they had decided it would be best to start taking back some land particularly farmland and simple room for people to move back into proper dwellings and start building some infrastructure and the best way the party decided to do this was to try to establish a working relationship with the new republic so we will return. It is about 2, 3 p.m. Uh, you guys are in Shine Bright right now. Um, and you are just leaving the commander's office, deciding on your next move. And I believe you are going to take the rest of the day off, or you can start moving. Uh, it is up to you. So that is where we're going to pick back up. And I'm going to try rhythm again. We'll see if this works. Hi, rhythm. No, it's working for now. Anyway, so you guys have just exited the commander's office and are walking down uh, into Shine Bright. And actually, to get things going, I have a little present for you all that I spent way too much time on. Welcome to Shine Bright. Oh, whoa! Uh -huh. Where am I on the map? Where? Well, consider me Oops. buttered. Where did it go? Right. I don't know why I just do it. Buttered. So here is the village, or the sprawling village of Shine Bright, and all of its tented glory in the sparse woodland oh, just Bright. just north of Direwood. And you guys are exiting here. It's not it's not 100% finished. I still need to furnish the inside of this building, but you get the idea. I wanted to show it to you guys. So you are exiting down here, making way down. It's beautiful. So, are you guys going to be taking the rest of the day off? Or would you like to get moving right away? What is your plan? Uh, we had a rest recently. Um, Six wouldn't mind getting off. We did? Sooner rather than later. We did. Did we? Kind of. Yeah, right before we went to our office. Have we had a long rest, Mr. DM? You have not had a long not rest a since long you came rest. back from the... You had a short <laughs> rest after you came back from the rat battle. Uh, as a... Well, then maybe we should have a long rest. I look at you and go, well, you might feel fine physically. I can bear my arcane energy is dwindled. Fair enough. Um, I want more I practice on my thinking. skills. Oh, God. Yes, you do. <laughs> I would like to see her practice on her skills. Do you want to try? No. Are you sure? I'm afraid of heights. You'd be great. Once you're up there, it's not even like like heights at all. You just you're up there and you're tall. So are you telling me that once I get up there, I'm not actually all that high up in the air? Yes, exactly. Do you want to try now? Logistically, I don't think that makes sense. <laughs> but magically, <laughs> but I don't know enough friend. about physics to dispute it. <laughs> but, Six, alas. do you want to try the stilts? Sure. 
Oh, yeah. I've always wanted to try some stilts. Uh, what do we need? Acrobatics? Yeah. All right. I want to find out how good I am with these stilts. Alex, Probably very next. good. <laughs> okay. I give it to you the first bad. time. An AT is not too bad. Uh, Beth shows you how to put the stilts on. Beyond that, given she's relatively relatively new to this and hasn't had anybody actually show her, she's just been going at it. She doesn't have much to teach you, so she kind of helps you hoist yourself up. <laughs> Here, well, how long? How tall did I say they were, Beth? Like seven feet or something ridiculous? I thought they were only like three or four. Three. Oh, are they only like three or four? Maybe they made yeah. you seven oh, feet tall. I don't know. She got the shorter ones. Um, yeah, she got the small ones. Right. Um. So six, you you you're kind of hoisted up, and it's a little clumsy at first. You swing your legs around and keep yourself up, and you're able to walk sort of immediately. But other than that, it is all you can do just to not fall over. <laughs> okay, that's good enough for now. Good job, good job, six. It is um. Did you call yeah, me six? Good job. I said six. <laughs> No, my brain almost my brain went right back to Mr. Six and I went Doran would Doran doesn't respect <laughs> titles. Uh <laughs> this was Zelfer. Good job, I uh don't know what I anticipated. Maybe something more of a fun fall or spectacular failure. We but, could make him fall. Well keep keep your eyes on me, then I say. Uh stupidly. And where are we? <laughs> Just out in the middle of nowhere at this point? Uh, wherever you'd like, I suppose. Anywhere in Sh Is Shine Bright. Else is, is there a tree nearby mm. where I can try to, I can, like, run up and do a backflip? I am not <laughs> hearing Jason twice. He might be broadcasting his voice through Roll20. He is. That's why I got rid of the ability to hear him in Roll20. Oh, how do you do that? Uh, let me, okay. I can broadcast. Oh, no. Which actually might nice partially family. explain some of his, uh, his cutting out problems. Correct, the Mundo, Mr. Holden. Uh, is that any better? Oh, I, I muted you on Roll20, so you're good. For okay. me, at least. Right. You sound fine. So. Okie dokie. Artichoke? Uh, nope. Uh, nope. Uh, was there a was there a tree or some uh, vertical that I could I could try to run up and backflip off of? There are oh, um, there are many <laughs> many trees. Okay. Um, that cool. You, that you could attempt such a thing. All right. Pick That's a tree. What's gonna tree. happen? Okay. Roll an acrobatics check with disadvantage. That's athletics, buddy. Oops. Uh, acrobatics. Double nat twenties. Okay. So a dirty twenty. Yeah, could have been worse. Could have been worse. Uh, essentially, what you've done by rolling high is not successfully complete the task, but manage not to hurt yourself in doing so. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, so At least that's good. Six kind of, after a few minutes, he's getting the hang of moving, sort of, and feeling challenged. He goes, okay, well, watch this. And he runs up to a tree and, and kind of kicks off of it. Like, he brings both legs up to the air for a second and kicks off with one of them and flies backward, like, five feet from all the force. And he doesn't quite do a backflip. The The stilts are, like, completely <laughs> vertical going up at one point. And he kind of lands on his back and does a half roll. And now he and the stilts are just laid flat on the ground. <laughs> Six, you were perfectly Ta -da. fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alistair claps. So does Beth. Was that better, Darren? Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> All right. I give the stilts back. I put the stilts on and attempt to do the exact same thing that uh, Six just did. All right, Good best luck. Breaks your neck. God. Oh, uh oh. Hello? 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 I Hello? Okay. I realized a Discord, part of the reason it felt so stuttery and gross is because I still had it on a, a different server, so I switched it, so everything should be slightly better now for everyone, except maybe Jason. Uh, what did you say? Uh, sounds okay. Okay, cool. Discord should be better now. I changed things. Oh. Okay. I couldn't hear you at all, but now I can, so. 
Cool. So the stilts okay, are given back to Bess. I want to put them on and, and attempt to do the exact same thing that Six just did. <sighs> on the exact same tree. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, roll an acrobatics with disadvantage. Disadvantage? Yes, disadvantage. <laughs> I'm sorry, acrobatics? Wait, 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 wait. Uh, I'm getting rid of that. I think I can get rid of that disadvantage. Ooh. Yeah, I'm getting rid of the disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, this is gonna go poorly, and I focus really closely <laughs> and make it less poorly. You rat bastard. <laughs> it's okay, been magic sir, so a Whoa! Oh, dude, nice roll. <laughs> well, so, Bess, you slightly better with the stilts, having gotten used to walking around in them, sort of, are able to get a better run toward the tree. But as you lift your legs to attempt to do the same thing as him, you realize, oh god, I'm doing the same thing as him, and just kick off of the tree, and it looks like you're gonna fall straight back onto and crack your head open. But everybody else sees Doran kind of just uh, concentrate his wave and, and wave his hand a little bit, and Bess, instead of falling backwards that's it's as if you feel a strong breeze pushes your head up and you just land with a crash on your butt <laughs> alistair claps Six a little less but goes walking. still good still good <laughs> i give a bow Who's seated and say alistair Who's next? pass big pass oh Doran? Stilts are fun for the, uh, the acrobatically inclined. I'll I do it know. because my character would love this, says Sting as he exits. Uh, no, I, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I would pay. I look at Sting dead in the eyes and go, I'll give you 10 gold if you do it. You know, if Jesse were here, he might actually take that. He, he would. absolutely would. But You know he would, but he's but not here. That is, he is not here, and I'm not going to do this to him. Because <laughs> oh, if, yeah, if he rolls like a nat <laughs> one, what I have to describe, he will never forgive me. <laughs> like His character breaks his fucking neck. Let's see, acrobatics from Sting. <laughs> oh, no, he would have kicked you guys' asses. Oh. Anyway, so moving on. Well, no, I wouldn't have gotten rid of Sting's disadvantage. Oh, <laughs> right. Yeah, he'd have disadvantage and have done, done worse than both of you. Yeah. So... Are the stilts done being passed around? I just I believe so. I just whispered something to you holding on, little 20. Completely side note that I just noticed. Oh, uh, you've literally up, already it's used it you, in the game. But it's, but it's up to you. It's, 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 you've literally already used it in the game. Don't worry about it. Okay. It, I mean, it's really fucking good, but... Uh, well, oh, that's never. why I was just looking through and went, oh. Maybe I'll nerf sucks. it slightly, but other than that, yeah, I'll look at it later. Okay. Wait, Ooh, uh, Alistair, trouble. don't you also have yeah, he Psionic does. Blast? Yes. Yeah, I, I might be nerfing that since they removed it from the spell list. Yep, they completely archived it. It is no longer a valid spell. What? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It is archived. It was yeah. pretty OP. It is it is very OP. So I'm gonna let you guys keep it for now, just as is. I'll probably nerf it and then let you decide if you want if you want to change it out. It being removed from the canon spell list is a good enough reason to allow you to switch it for free if you want. So we'll we'll take care of that later. J mm, okay, Jason, I'm gonna ignore that. Um are, is there anything else in particular you guys would like to do with the rest of your evening or are you just going to take a restful day? How are we feeling? Alistair is going to light up a bonfire and relax. Okay. Yeah. Actually, any one of these uh, large piles of lumber I am pinging now are are some of the bonfires I've mentioned that the villagers have been um, gathering around and drinking around recently. Nice. Six would... Um, are we on the map? Try to pay a little... Six would try to pay a little what? Oh, uh, extra attention to to the perimeter. Um, make sure, try to make sure as the evening progresses that nobody uh, is coming out of the woods unexpectedly or anything like that. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, why don't you go ahead and make a perception check then? Okay. Uh, so. You all take a, a night, an evening, to relax after the 
somewhat intense battle at main gate. Uh, but you know, six kind of patrolling the perimeter casually, uh, keeping a uh, keeping a watch, keeping a lookout. Um, as the sun is beginning to set, six, um, you don't you haven't noticed any strange activity on the border of Shine Bright, but you do notice the commander uh, approaching you, um, some twenty feet back. Um, and he as as he approaches you, he gives you kind of like the one hand wave. He doesn't do this. I'm sorry, I, I don't see your camera. Let me let me. Yeah, he's the one. Oh. I can't. oh. Everybody, mind. spam reconnect. I did. <laughs> I did, and now I can. Only... I was I was just doing a goofy two handed wave. I no. can't see. I can't see. Six. I can't see Jason either. Wow, that's weird. Jason, Jason just having a million problems for no reason. <laughs> just every, uh -huh. every, every every day. I don't know. Um, no, he, yeah, goofy, two-handed wave, no, he, he approaches you, <laughs> and he says, By the way, uh, it has come to my attention that the two cloaked rangers who launched the flare to begin with at the battle in main gate, um, had broken their route, and had had their own little adventure into the village. So they had essentially uh... abandoned their posts. <laughs> what made them do that? That's a great question. When I asked them about it, they provided no answer other than we thought it would be interesting. We thought there might be danger. Just anything to get their asses out of trouble. Frankly, I don't have time for this. So I'm putting you and Bess in charge of how to deal with them, if you'd like to punish them, or if not, up to you. Well, the one that's left anyway. Um, does Alistair overhear this? <clears throat> mm, why not? Uh, he'd look up from being really, really laid back at the fire. And, uh, go, do you need me to interrogate someone? <laughs> Commander squints over at you, and then back to six. That's up to you. And he, he leaves. <laughs> Uh, where is he? He, you see him shrug as he walks off. <laughs> Interesting. All right. Um, I ask around. Okay, you're gonna go searching on your own. Yeah. Okay. Um, or take Alistair with me if he's there. Yes. Sure. Alistair and Six looking for this cloaked ranger that survived the battle at Man Gate. Um. I mean, easily enough, asking around, it's not hard, it's not a lot of people here. Um, you're, you're able to, um, kind of, after asking one person who knows this other person that he's usually with, who knows, blah blah blah, you're, you're, after about 20 minutes, you're able to track him down to one of the larger barrack tents, uh, that there are three of on the map, and, um, okay. you are able, you are able to find him, and you, you do learn, and you're searching around for him, that his name is Wismus. 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 It's beginning to look a lot like Wismus. <laughs> um, is he uh, is he shackled or anything, or is he just kind of out there? No, he's just chilling in the tent, having a having a laugh with some of the boys, vibing with the men, as they say. Yeah. Um. All right. I six will attempt to sort of just ingratiate himself into the conversation there. I mean, as soon as you start approaching, everybody knows of your position, so the conversation okay. goes from, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> sir. Um, <laughs> well, I you're will... not fun. <laughs> I will pass my flask uh, around to uh, to the group and attempt to uh, uh, be one of the guys for, 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 for some time here. Six, it's just... <laughs> I'm about to have six make up B with a B one with the guys check. <laughs> make just a general yes, charisma check. I'm checking. Honestly, All with right. the flask, I'll make it. I'll make it with advantage. <laughs> charisma check. All right. All right. Wherever I am, All I right. want to. Where I, I'm not close enough to get rid of it. So. I mean, you. I'm gonna no, say I'm... at any point, like Bess or Doran, if you want to join in on this, you would have seen oh. them going around asking about this guy. I have something typed up. This is what Doran would be doing. Okay. 
I think Best would be following, but not. <laughs> Great. Great. Life lessons. Best is gonna check in with the family whose mother died. Okay. Um, <laughs> Best, I will. I will tell you about that in a minute. Doran. Yep. Make an intelligence check to attempt to teach children. Um, oh God, I'm not gonna six. build one. With a sixteen, sure. there is there is a, there is a moment, Alistair. You watch as six kind of holds out his flask, like ah ah, pippity style. He oh my uh, god. <laughs> um, the uh, the boys. Th there's a group of uh, four cloaked rangers here who were chatting. Um, they all kind of give that look, like, are we doing this? And and then actually, Wismus reaches out and takes it, holds it up, cheers, and takes a swig and starts passing it around. <laughs> That's strong, I say, as he does that. Yeah, so he takes a swig and starts passing it around. As soon as he passes it to this guy, he goes, Oh my. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I mean, who's that? What? Quite the, <laughs> <laughs> Quite the Jesus, uh, battle I mean, out there today. That? I mean, you could say someone... that again. I'm glad you showed up. So am I at this point. <laughs> Uh, what happened? What do you mean? You were there. What do you mean, what happened? I didn't think that that, uh, that the town was near your patrol route. Uh, like, the guy, the, the the other three guys are, like, passing the flask around, and as soon as you say that, they're all like, oh. And there's, like, <laughs> <laughs> one of them, like, slowly takes a sip, and they keep passing it around, but they're, like, wide-eyed staring at you now. <laughs> Wismus is like, I, I, I'm, well, I'm, you see, I heard, I heard, I heard uh, a commotion, and I, I, I said, "Hey, we should go check that out." Um, two, it would two honestly miles probably be the south. best for everybody at the table if you cut the crap. But that's just my my spin on the situation. He looks at you. Who are you? Does it matter? <laughs> the I'm with the big one. man on campus. <laughs> Whatever the fuck a campus is, it just sounded right in the moment. <laughs> There is an awkward pause. <laughs> His bodyguard? Would I be your bodyguard, Six? <laughs> uh, might not be necessary, but I appreciate the gesture. <laughs> uh, sure. Oh. Ooh. Personal assistant. <laughs> <laughs> Executive assistant. Executive director, Ooh. personal assistant, CEO of assisting. CEO of existing. Oh, oh, as well. <laughs> that hurts. <laughs> Why? He's the CEA, the chief executive assistant. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Please continue. <laughs> uh, does, uh, let's see, what did he say? He, 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 was... he, oh, he basically what... looked at Alistair. And went, who are you? And then Alistair was like, doesn't really matter. Who am I? Your bodyguard? Is it whatever? And then there's, I said, there's, there's a bit uh -huh. of an awkward pause. All eyes on you. Okay. Uh, just curious how you came across the, uh, the fray. Well, we heard some screams south, a couple miles south of our route. <clears throat> And we uh, those are some long distance screams. Yep, yeah. It's why I, it's why we rushed in so quickly. It really caught us off I guard. I think we were closer here, were we not? Than <laughs> two miles? Didn't you say it only took us a few minutes to 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 get there? No, by horse it took you like thirty minutes. Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay. Um, <laughs> I think we were closer here. <laughs> like what? <laughs> no. Uh. Those are some good ears you've got. Thank you, sir. He reaches out and snatches the flask from somebody else and takes another swing. <laughs> um, and so you uh you rushed in. How long did it take you to get there? Uh, you know we ran. So not long. You sure did, kid. <laughs> That's great. That's great work. B well thank done. you, sir. Of course. I'm glad we were able to uh, save those people. As am I. Uh, I'm so glad, in fact, I would appreciate if you uh, would join us tomorrow as we uh, continue our exploits. 
you've proven yourself to be very useful. I would appreciate your uh, your assistance on this quest, <laughs> if you will. Oh, um, uh, he looks at the other guys who are all like wide eyed looking at him, like, what the fuck? <laughs> and he goes, um, ab- ab- absolutely, sir. I-, I would be honored to accompany you to where? Ah, well, we are uh, going to start uh, with the New Republic. <laughs> I kind of mentioned to him where, where, we're, where we're headed and uh, tell him yeah. why specifically that uh, we're hoping that uh, they can potentially open their arms and see us potentially as some sort of ally in the coming months. You want to head into the middle of the city infested with rats and speak with the thieves about an alliance indeed i'm all, all due respect sir of course uh am i missing something oh it wouldn't be our first trip we've already established uh communications with them uh, in fact i have some good friends in there everybody everybody in this tent is looking around like what the fuck is happening who is this guy <laughs> uh yeah, um, yes yes sir i would be more than happy to accompany you excellent uh we hope that uh that an alliance can be forged um and it's not been that dangerous while we've been in there so with your help i don't think we uh have have anything to worry about right of course i i i'll be ready first thing in the morning make sure you are (laughs) yes yes sir Got it. He, this whole time, Alex looks... is kind of fucking smirking underneath his. He's just kind of looking yeah, down. I take smirking. the. He like I looks take down the at the flask back. Yeah, he looks down at the flask and you yoink it out of his hand. He's like, oh. And uh, and I finish it. <laughs> Power move. <laughs> and I clap him on the back and I turn around and walk off. Is if I get to feed this guy to the new republic? <laughs> Here, take this. <laughs> this is a really good like. Oh, okay, I know you're lying to me, so I'm going to make you feel bad for lying to me. God. We're going to find a story to tell. He'll, he'll tell are. it eventually. I, I'm going to reward you for being a good soldier and having great hearing. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> and when, we tur- when it turns He's out... himself in battle. When it turns out you're full of shit, then I'll punish you. Ah, <laughs> oh, Christ. Uh, Holden. He has the story to tell. Yeah, I'm sure he'll uh, he'll tell it. Right. Holden. Uh, Holden. That entire time was like, I don't, I don't have a statue. I don't have. Oh god. Uh, fuck. Uh, shit. Well, okay. Here we go. <laughs> this is a thing he can do. I gave him the power to do this. Shit. Fuck. Balls. <laughs> <laughs> this is something I I enabled him to do. Congratulations. I've played myself. <laughs> Congratulations, me. You've played me. <laughs> shit. Fuck. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> sure. Well, you have re- recruited an extra ally for tomorrow. Excellent. He'll take Sting's place for the time being. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Bess, I believe you were uh, doing something? Yes. Bess was going to the tent with the family. Bess, oh, um... wasn't Doran Ah, uh, yes. Doran was doing something as well. Um, I, I, I'm going back. Um see uh, intelligence 18 yeah i'll get to that in a moment uh Bess, you head to the tent now uh, you're you're able to find um the father's not in there but the two young girls are um and they appear to be asleep uh but as you are kind of peering into this tent and checking in um he actually approach he, he you you hear him approaching you from behind you look back and he mm-hmm. He, he seems, like, nervous at first. Seeing somebody peer into the tent, he notices it's you, and you see, like, a, a sigh of relief take him. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. I just wanted to see if you guys were doing okay or if you if you needed anything at all. <sighs> we're settling. For sure. Is there anything that I can do while I'm still here? I mean, honestly, if you want to keep an eye on them while I enjoy the night. I wouldn't mind, but that's if that's asking too much. 
They'll you probably just keep sleeping through the night if you just check on them every now and then. I, I can as well, obviously, but... Well, the drink, you know. Yeah, I, I, I can look in on them tonight. <laughs> sure. My wife dies. I, I, I'll be sure to stop in as well, of course. They're my daughters. But if, if perhaps we'll we'll bump into each other. Okay, I'll, I'll look in on them. Thank you. Just Maybe me to... more than bump. He, he nods uh, and smiles like a big smile and kind of runs off to probably go be with the boys. Um, the same day that his wife dies? No. <laughs> with his new girlfriend. <laughs> oh, I, I this can't this is like... Anyone. this is. She's I, a friend. In case I haven't explained, like, this is, this is like six, seven hours after the battle. And he spent the majority of the day in the tent with the girls. Um, best I will say, actually, just because I'm not trying to paint him as like this evil man. Looking in, you can tell the girls probably cried themselves to sleep, and he was there the entire time. Yeah. And now he's like getting out and stretching and getting a breath of fresh air and yeah. trying to probably drink his sorrows away. <laughs> That's to paint a better picture. Um, yeah, other than going out with the boys. Bachelor. I was in boys mode because of the whole interaction with Wismus, but <laughs> right. So other than that, Alistair, uh, you you go around and finding as many children as you can, just explaining you you know young enough. No, that's that Doran. They're... Me. What? what didn't I say, Doran? You said, you said Alistair. Did I? Oh no, Doran. Uh, yeah. You you find as many children as you can that will that are like old enough to understand, but young enough to totally buy into what you're saying. You know the type. <laughs> Um, you with an yeah. 18, you go around and you begin teaching children um, how to change the subject or or how to misdirect. Wait, you start telling about how like if you if you pretend that you have a boo boo or if you make something up about somebody being mean to you, it can be a good excuse for like anything. And get you out of trouble. You start like explaining different ways. You get to like six different kids and explain to, and eventually you have like a small crowd of kids, like six or seven kids around you, uh, all learning how to uh, get out of trouble. And uh, coincidentally, Bess, as you're leaving the tent and you start walking about, you you see Doran with a crowd of six or seven kids around him, all wide-eyed and, and looking at him and nodding excitedly. <laughs> Uh, can I go investigate? Not investigate, but, like, see what's going on? Sure. Uh, uh, Doran, as you're kind of wrapping this up, you see Bess approaching. <laughs> and then I give the kids a little wink and go, and that's why you should always listen to your parents. Going around and messing with people's other people's belongings and just being an all-around nuisance is not okay. Bess, this is oh, what hi, you're Bess. Here. <laughs> Yeah, all the kids. <laughs> Bess, as soon as you approach the kids, we're looking excited and happy, and then he starts saying this, and they all look really confused and start, like, awkwardly dispersing. <laughs> <laughs> Awkwardly dispersing. <laughs> Hi, Doran. What are you, uh, what are you up to? Well, do you want the answer that will make you happy, or the answer that won't? <laughs> That's a good question. Let me think for a minute. Are you, are you in a mental place for something that could harm you? <laughs> what? Are you? Do you have the mental capacity for information that might hurt you? Are you hurting these kids? No. What are you? What? What are you doing? Teaching. Why did you just have a parade of children? I was enlightening them, and a parade normally to me has multiple spots of people doing different activities. Have you ever seen a parade? What were you enlightening them about? You see, Bess, when 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 this is all said and done, we should actually have a parade. I think it'd be a phenomenal idea. You know, I see what you're doing. Six and Alistair at this it. point, if, if you guys want, you would hear this happening. <laughs> I see it, and I don't like it. Indeed. Just imagine, a bunch of floats, people playing instruments, such what as you talking to a the drums. Children about? I want to know! Now you can Darn, definitely no hear more children. <laughs> what, Jason? Uh, I said, Darren, no more children. I, I don't even need to know what, what, what everything, what's being talked about. I don't have about. children. I just hear that. Not yet, you I don't. just wanted to know what you said. Uh, you, I mean, I was lecturing them. What were you way. lecturing them about? Their parents. What about their parents? 
Let's see. <laughs> yeah, let me pick <laughs> up something real quick. Hold on. Thorne just kind of looks up to the sky and goes, That's a pretty star. And I start walking away. <laughs> I let it go. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of stop. I'm going to look up. And see if I can figure out which star he was looking at. It's a cloudy sky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Born stops about 25 feet away. Looks back and goes, That guy told me about his religion. You owe me that a little bit later, Bess. Bye-bye. Wait, what? Thorin, uh, a word. <laughs> I try to catch up. Easy Serendipitous. Enough. And I nod at him. And I, will, I will say, Alistair and Bess, we did want to block off some time for you guys to talk tonight. Once, um, So we will be moving on to that in a moment. So if you want to gather your thoughts about what, whatever you wanted to speak about. Six, you're easily able to catch up with Doran. I'm going to um, slump back down at the fire. Okay. Like a very relaxed man. When we, uh, when we leave in the morning, we'll have a guest with us. Um, I don't trust him. Then why is he coming Perhaps you could get some information out of him. Sure, I believe we separate him from the, the rest of the group. I'm sorry? I, I mute you on roll 20, and then for some reason you unmute yourself. I don't know how it works, but it's just like instantaneous. It's crazy. Uh, maybe it's the ghost of, of rhythm. Yeah, it's probably rhythm. I will do my best to get information out of him. And the word you asked for is serendipitous. I appreciate that. I will keep that in my back pocket for later. Um, don't hurt him, though, okay? I just nod. Scout's honor. You're not a scout. Not when I look like this? Okay. <laughs> um, I, I, I go back to Alistair and Bess. <laughs> I go back, and I would like to, before... Actually, I'm going to whisper this to you, Holden, because I don't want the person I'm going to do it for to know. Okay. Um, while you're typing that, Alistair and Beth. That's terrifying. You guys were going to have a conversation last time. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Beth would go up to Alistair at the fire and sit down next to him, just quietly. I don't know which fire, so you get to pick. Oh, I don't even know where we are. Yeah, I don't think we're on the map. No, there, I have no tokens on the map because there are hundreds of, of actual little sprites for map items. If I added tokens, it would take half an hour for everyone to load because roll 20 is... Oof. Well, I picked generic fire number 12. <laughs> okay. A nope, there drawing. I am. There's a little drawing. Where? Oh, yeah. I'll be, how do I draw on there? Oh, God. Okay. Uh, freehand. Underneath the paintbrush thing. Oh, my gosh. No, we've taught her. Oh, no. <laughs> it won't let me. It won't let me do. Oh wait, there we go. Oh no. <laughs> uh, so you said we could get rid of psionic blast and archive oh, it with okay. something else. If you'd like to switch it out right now, you can. Otherwise, if you want to keep it, I will probably nerf it later. To what extent, I don't know. Okay, I'll gotcha. switch my. I just because I, I. If it was archived, it was archived for a very good reason. Right. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and change. Yeah, that. if you add that, that's good. That's as good a reason as any for you guys to freely switch a spell. <laughs> Best, what is that? What am, is that a what? witch's hat? What am I looking no, at? No, I tried to draw a star and it did not go well. <laughs> there you go. I can't even see whatever you did. Oh, it's because because it's very thin. Hold on. Uh, but go oh. ahead. You are you are sitting next to Alistair, and you're you. Why'd sit... you take mine away? Because I'm going to it just uh, give me a moment. No. <laughs> God damn it, Holden. See, look there. See, see, better star. Why are you wrecking everything? It's a better star. I like mine. Well, Wait, I okay. Think... Tiny hut and Liaman's tiny hut is the same thing, right? Yes, it's just different names. Okay, why is that a thing? That's stupid. So, Bess, you've been sitting next to Alistair quietly for a few minutes. I, Alistair, wanted to, uh, I, I wanted to say I really appreciated what you had to say to the girls. At, and, and right after they lost their mother, I really, I really appreciated that. Everybody needs kind words in a time like that. 
I had lost uh, I lost my mother a few years ago, more than a few years ago now. But um, that actually I was some closure that I never thought I needed. Thank you. I enjoy telling stories about my past, and I enjoy when people enjoy listening to them. If that makes sense. And that was a fitting one for the, the time. I'd like to hear more about her. If you're willing to tell, that is, I mean. Maybe another night. Tonight, I want to lay back. I didn't for do anything sure. today, and it makes me tired when I don't do anything. <laughs> I'm tired from resting, if that makes sense. That makes sense, like when you sleep too much. Exactly. I haven't done that in years, though. I used to as a child. It was nice. I haven't slept for seven days because that would be too long. (laughs) (laughs) Hold on. Clara. Clara, please stop. Oh, oh, stop, stop, Clara, stop. Oh, the echo. Oh, God. Your mouth acts as, a, as, a, as an echo chamber. That was horrible. Sorry. Oh, God. That was interesting. That was really interesting, <laughs> but I hated it. Sorry. Okay, hold on. I have... I have a question. Go ahead. Can you take me to Secret Secrets? I suppose I can. If you insist. I do. You're not. Shut up. I do. Okay, perfect. I do. <laughs> um, okay, so hypnotic pattern. Okay. You create a twisting pattern of colors that weaves through the air inside a 30-foot cube within range. The pattern appears for a moment and vanishes. Each creature in the area who sees the pattern must make a wisdom saving throw. On a failed save, the creature becomes charmed for the duration. While charmed by the spell, the creature is inca- incapacitated has a speed of zero. Could I, in theory, instead of having this be like um, immobilization spell, tweak it to the point where I could tell stories about my past. Like like a slideshow, almost. For anybody watching. Uh, Maybe mean, not like a slideshow for an extended duration. You're ex- you're, you're describing minor like, illu- or, or major... Well, there are other spells that would do that oh, much more. I didn't even think of that. Yeah. Hmm. There are other... I might change that then yeah. to a different spell. There are other spells that could achieve that much more easily. <laughs> okay, if I haven't used that spell yet, would you be okay with me choosing changing that? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay, cool. Okay, uh, I need to see if that's actually a spell I can learn though. Okay. I'm almost that's... positive I am. Yeah. Okay. So. And... Um. To be continued. Yes. Okay. So Alistair and Bess. Sit next to the fire together. Um, Doran is, let's see. Okay, uh, Doran, why don't you make an investigation check? And six, uh, are you continuing to kind of just watch the perimeter? Or are you going to take some time to relax? Oh, wow, big <laughs> oof. Can I really not um, learn that spell? Wow. As it gets dark, I would I would continue to, uh, to, to watch, um, but... Eventually, at some point, I'd uh, find a refill for my flask and sit by the fire for a while with Bess. Yeah, there's not a lot of good stuff. In fact, there's not any good stuff. There's not a lot of alcohol to go around. But uh, given your sure, given your position, when some is to be found, you can easily fill your flask with it. Nobody will stop you. Um, Doran, wow, they archived a much. lot of spells. Doran, nobody knows what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> you didn't have it. You didn't have disadvantage, but double not ones. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody has any clue what you're talking about. And some people point you. I will say the only thing is some people point you toward uh, the person you're investigating, and they're like, "Oh, they might know," but that's the most you're gonna get <sighs> <laughs> for tonight. That's the most you're gonna get after asking a couple dozen people. Okay, I'll. I will say. I will say just through sheer observation, the symbol you could do. Okay. To give you something. Try to work on that. Yeah. Like my cat for assholes. Yeah. 
but okay. I'd like to try to do that to the best of my ability, which I have done a lot of art. So yeah, yeah. Um, if you just want to Google that, you can. It's easy enough to find. Yeah, but you have that. So uh, the rest of the night progresses relatively uneventfully. Actually, except I, okay. Now that I now that I changed it, can I do something? Go ahead. Oh, he's changed it, his spells it, out. I, I've changed one spell because I, I described the spell that I wanted to do to Holden. And Holden goes, oh, don't you mean this other spell that does exactly that? That yeah, you don't have to tweak so much? And I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Handy. <laughs> I was yeah, like, hey, he that's wanted, neat. He wanted to use a combat spell for completely non-combat purposes, which can happen. <laughs> I was like, there's another spell that is non-combat that does exactly what you want. <laughs> like, <laughs> I couldn't find it, and I realized I was looking for the wrong word. I'm going to cast Major Image above the fire. Okay. And are I you, am going are you to doing this later at night as it's starting to clear out and it's just you and Bess mostly. Or are you just going to do it with um, everyone? Um, sure, me, Bess, and whoever else is around. Yeah. I know six was you, Bess, Dorian, me. maybe six. Yeah, yeah. As you guys, I'm, I would of... put up uh, my mother in the flower bed in our town. Aww. Then I would. Okay. Do you want to just uh, want to describe that scene a bit more? Or... I actually haven't gone into how she looks yet. Okay. Um, but. Imagine me, but woman, yeah. and not as silvery. There, yeah, a, a large silent image. She's a Kalistar druid. Yeah, a large silent image of a woman lying peacefully in a bed of uh, flowers of varying colors um, fills the space directly above the large bonfire, which is now dwindling. And with Major Illusion, I, I haven't put it in the Roll20 book yet, but I, I would cast it if I could. Um, you can actually smell the faint breeze of flowers. Aww. Wonderful. When I cast the spell at a slot of six or higher, the spell lasts until the spell. Jesus. Damn. That's, That's strong. <laughs> okay, so cool. you all get a, a glimpse um, as he tells you this is his mother. You all get a glimpse of his past a little bit. Thank you. I Do you say you anything about sharing. it? Um, I would uh, tell you guys the story that I told the children, which, which I can either copy paste or I can. Well, say. just see. We're here. I have to find it. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> I didn't save it to my drafts. I, I DM'd it to people. Um, I would tell a story. Back when I was younger, I used to garden with my mother a lot. Um, she was a fantastic woman, a gorgeous druid with an even more beautiful heart. She was a. a Kalish star like me, our whole village was. Um, she would wake up and go straight to gardening. Uh, we had a giant garden in the city that was dedicated to her. She was the only druid. Um, she would often uh, invite me to go with her to tend with the flowers, and uh, we were we always had these conversations. And one of them came about the what happened after you died, because everybody has those questions. Um, and she said. Everybody dies, and I told her that I didn't want her to. And she kind of laughed at that, and I was really confused at why she laughed at first. I thought it was kind of rude. But uh, she explained it a little bit. And uh, the reason that people die and things die was to become fodder for the plants in the sky, the clouds, she says. She always thought of the clouds as the sky's flowers and the sky's plants. Um, she never really believed in a god or a religion, but she loved the sky so much. With being a druid, she was always so close to nature and the ground that she always dreamed of flying and being up in the air. She loved the thought that the clouds were like sky flowers and the souls of the departed would fill them until they burst, which was the rain. Rain was the tears of the deceased missing their families and crying. Um, I lost my mother a while back and I know what it's like. And he would have said, I know what it's like to, to the kids mostly. Um... Uh, each rainfall is sad, but the bright sunny days that come after, with the rainbows, are the souls of the dead realizing that while they're not there, they can watch with amazement from above. Every ray of sunshine is his, your mother's hands, gently caressing. Uh, actually, that would probably would not have been said. That would have been said to the kids. Rain is okay. It's just a sign sh uh, the, the deceased miss you. If you stay strong for her, the rainy days will be few and far between, and the sunny days will be plentiful. And then I look over at Six, who I know has been in Direwood for a while ago. Except in Direwood, it's always cloudy. Fuck that place. <laughs> she said that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! After the story, I would look. I would look at Six and say that. So we would kind of nod along. It would be like a slideshow of everything. Yeah. 
Yeah, as he goes through you... the story, different depictions are being placed above the fire. It be given, and it, it, the fire gives it a sort of uh, like like a like a projector esque lighting from below. Um, and from time to time, the image actually uses the fire to create some animation within it. And it, it goes through images of clouds and images of his mother and in the flower bed and the garden and and little images depicting kind of the basic some some buildings he remembers from his village etc. Very beautiful story. Best would what? be crying, not like gross crying, just you know like. Best <laughs> <laughs> is sitting there, not ready to get her face. <laughs> <laughs> I look towards <laughs> Alistair. You know, one day in the future. Moving pictures like this will be on the rage. I hope they are. I really enjoy it. <laughs> Where's Rick the Hammer when you need him? <laughs> uh, hold, hold him. I, I sent you what I would like to be, do on Discord. Okay. Um, the entire time oh. that Alistair is drawing this, or throwing this, I'm working in my sketchbook, and you guys only see me use my pencil or my quill, but I'm actually having like little paint set off, and I'm actually like working on it. But anytime anyone gets too close, I kind of pull it away. I love anytime Blake goes, do you know what I'm doing with Doran? Pulls it, he goes. <sighs> <laughs> um, kind of after though, after Alistair kind of shares his little moment, I kind of go, well, if it's sharing time. Well, honestly, I don't have anything to share. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I come from a group of people who lie and cheat and are general assholes. I'll drink to that. Asshole. <laughs> so, is that your race? No, it's just the people. I mean, that's racist. <laughs> As I say, I drink to that. I'd like to look at six and, uh, and motion for the flash. And just gently wave my fingers like... Mm. <laughs> I pass it over. <laughs> no I, um, problem. My father he just he didn't really want me to do anything other than what he did in his life which was lying make people give him money and he was one of the leaders of this little caravan that we traveled in. And for most of my childhood that's what I did you know it's good to have a child around for those type of things because people are way more likely to give you money if you have a child no correlation to what happened earlier. <laughs> Best stops crying and looks over like, oh, Dude, I mean, that's completely <laughs> honestly, had no correlation. I made the deal when I came into this group that I wouldn't do anything like that without explicit permission. That's true. He did. And honestly, I hated. I hate my father for how he taught me and how I grew up. And if I ever have children kind of looks over at <laughs> Alistair. I don't want to. I don't do it with children most of the time. I um would not raise then them. Why were what? you talking to children earlier then? <laughs> well, because most of the time I'm lying to children. I, I've never tried to be honest with them, and that's what I just did, and it was weird. Kind of nice. But regardless, my father was not a good man. And I wasn't either growing up that way. But how do I phrase this? I left not because I wanted to be better. I left because I didn't want to be that. It was mundane in a way. It just wasn't what I wanted. I wanted to be more than a changeling who changed himself constantly and lied to people to get funds. I wanted to be more. And my father always told me I was... But that was to never use what made me more because magic was evil in his eyes to do anything other than lie. Which kind of a how do I, it was a clusterfuck of lessons that I t was taught as a child. That but, sounds awful, Doran. I'm sorry you've had to I'm grow up sure that way. It, you didn't click right. But, yeah, I know. I mean, there. I wouldn't call my back my my my, my childhood tragic in any my manner. Back I mean, story <laughs> tragic. I, oh, man. I was I was loved. My 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 family was good to me. They were very shitty, but they were good. 
they cared in their own little way. And honestly, I ran away long ago. I mean, how long? I ran away about three, seven years ago. Right, yes. Yeah, seven years ago I ran off. And I wouldn't go back, but if I ever saw them, and I would probably not know, honestly. I kind of lost a lot of the skills and recognizing your others, but... Would they recognize you? In this face, yes. Will your parents also changelings? Yes, my entire family is. The entire caravan I traveled with was all changelings. Um, we each had different roles. I was one of the main speakers. We had people who kept track of what jobs we had done in different cities, so we never uh, did it twice. That's always a good rule of thumb. Yes, I am terrible at all that stuff, though. I hate bookkeeping. <laughs> Impressive timing. What? For everything to work out together. Everything has to be in, in a row. Yes, but that's why we always work together. That's why I suck by myself, honestly. It's really hard to keep doing that things when you don't remember who you've conned, what con you've used with them, and what faces <laughs> you've burned. <laughs> it's Have you tried keeping a list? Yes, but I, I traded that away. <laughs> For paint supplies. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> I traded it for paint supplies. Well, that's me, and I go back to painting. <laughs> Thank you for sharing, Doran. I'm sorry you had a shitty childhood. So am I. I'm glad I'm here, though. <laughs> Stick stands up and says... Sometimes I wish I had something to miss. And he sort of kicks at the fire and walks away. Ooh. And as the fire is snuffed out, uh, the, the last few embers that were remaining are snuffed out. The illuminated image above it <laughs> is the only light around you guys, except as Six walks away, the clouded sky parts slightly, and... The illumination above the embers of the fire, the image of a beautiful garden, is illuminated by moonlight. And as the, the image begins to fade, as its duration is only 10 minutes, strangely enough, the image disappears. But the moonlight bouncing off of it, bouncing through the light of the image, cast refracted and reflected to the ground around you guys, surrounding you in depictions of moonlit flowers even as the image fades away and you are left in a sleepy night with moonlight flowers surrounding you probably ready to take your rest indeed perfect I... Blake yawns I... what? <laughs> I thought I, saw, I thought you were yawning. <laughs> no, I was, uh, my mouth was open. I also drew six walking away, and yes, it is just a six with arms and legs. God damn it! I fucking hate you. <laughs> <Right>. Wow. <laughs> so, I would like to find six and see if I can get by with him by himself after he walked away. Um, I... sure. I mean, I'm not hiding or anything. What, Clara? That best would also want to do that, but if Doran jumps up, go for it. Okay, but you, you, you see, you, you get up to go to six, and you see Doran also get up to go to six, so you kind of, like, hold back a little bit and wait. Doran, go ahead. I walk up to six. Six. Doran? I, I hope that didn't hit a nerve. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Random question that just popped into my head. Do you have feelings for that, be for best? Uh, I do. School is good. I'm working on something, and I'm going to give it to you to give to her. 
uh, what's that? <laughs> and then I am going to send you the image on, on Discord of what I am working on, because that is what I'll do. I'll tell you what you'll do. Damn. Pulling up the Discord. I'll kind of show my little sketch of it, because it's a little bit... It's not finished yet, it's rough. Do I recognize this? I mean, I... I... I'm assuming, yeah. but... <laughs> you can tell him what it is if need be. <clears throat> you know what this I'm is, right? I'm just wondering... I, 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 I would assume so. Uh, is that a DM call? Would I, would I know what the symbol is? You know what the symbol is. Okay. You've seen it enough. All right. Um, that's beautiful. What? What? Are, how are you? What are you making it out? It is with paint and a little bit of my sketching. It's what I traded the traded the list for. <laughs> Those paint supplies. <laughs> Not pizza pies. Um, <laughs> you're, you're clearly very talented. Um, I, show, I show him the image of him that I have drawn. That's very well done. This is, a, you know, for how I copy. This, now, this one, when I finish it, I'll give it to you, and you can give it to her. And bada bing, bada boom. Ah, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I, 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 um, thank you. Uh, wait, which one? <laughs> which one are you giving to me to give to her? Not the one of you. <laughs> Not the one of me. Okay. Um, that would be weird. Would you... I use that for personal <laughs> reasons. Um, wouldn't you prefer to give it to her? You spent all the time creating it. No. Do I sense anything strange about this conversation? Make an insight check. All right. <laughs> Blake, I'm going to trust you to give him what you think he gets from it. And I'm not going to look at my number, so just tell me what I what I think I know. All right, it's hidden. Um, you... Nothing weird. He just seems to be trying to be a good person in this situation. Okay. And trying to make cool. as many people as happy with what he's done as possible. Thank you, Dorian. I'll hopefully have it finished by the end of tomorrow, but um, I have no clue. Um, six cracks a, a little bit of a, of a wry smile, and he says, uh, um, "Those aren't runes, are they?" <laughs> <laughs> no, and I walk away. <laughs> <laughs> see, best you see Doran walk away, and Six is holding something now. <laughs> I would, I would say, sorry, Alistair, I'll, I'll be right, be right back. And then, we all kind of yeah. ditched you. I mean, I, I oh, he's Bess. like half asleep. Yeah. Oh, okay, good. Bess, as you walk away, Alistair, you start to slowly drift to sleep. On the grass, comfortable as can be, surrounded by moonlit images of your mother's flowers. I would like to shed a tear. Is that, that a bonus action? Yeah, is that an action to shut a tear? <laughs> no, it's an action to to blow your nose. Um, okay. Yeah, it's a, a single tear. Tears are tears your free movement. Yeah. <laughs> Every tear is five feet of movement. <laughs> if you I run, cry if you on can my run enemy, faster, can't move anymore. If you can run faster, you cry faster as well. Okay. <laughs> Six oh, is a fast crier. <laughs> the more movement speed, the bigger. Yeah. <clears throat> so now I'm that done we've done. torn down that emotional moment, best you approach Six. He's holding something. <laughs> Hey! Wait, no, he took it back, right? Dorn, no, I would have given it. You, you, you have the final copy. You have copy. it, six. <laughs> oh! Okay. <laughs> He's like, shit, fuck. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not ready. Um, <laughs> hey, hey, Bess. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I didn't mean to be rude there. Uh, no, are you okay? Yeah. Uh, uh, I Sometimes wish I had more memories of who I was before. I don't know if it makes you feel any better, but you've got plenty of memories with us. It's true. That is true. I, uh, I just, uh, 
I'm not sure if I've ever felt a mother's love. As silly as that might sound. Well, everyone has a mother. I mean, even if you don't remember it. Got to have. I'm no, sorry, it's... Six. It's okay. Don't worry about it. It's not... I'm gonna give him a hug. <laughs> Should do more than that. Um... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I, I, I hold out the, uh, the roll that Doran gave me, and I say, uh, Dor Doran painted this. He thought I should give it to you. I'll, I'll look at it later. Let's, let's go to bed. Okay. Off we go. Okay. Um, as you guys all find your rest for the evening... Uh, some more comfortable than others. You all eventually find your rest. But a strange thing occurs, unbeknownst to all of you. As you fall asleep, you all see the same thing. A strange purple mist, whatever dreams you are having, is taken over by. A strange purple mist and the sounds of various whispers encroaching upon your mind. And it slowly takes over whatever was once occupying your dreams. Until eventually, rhythm fades out. No, no, it doesn't. Rhythm fades out. <laughs> and eventually, a message to each of you from an unknown source. What is a physical body? The body is merely an object. It is a form of existence far too impure to store the gods within us called soul. Oh my god, I can barely Everyone hear you. Remember blood stained history, material greed, hunger, Hold on. Can you not sexual hear it? desire, desire for it's fame. It's really quiet. Desire for fame, life. Okay, hold on. Let's try that again then. I could barely hear that. Really? It's very it's quiet on. for me. That might be a roll 20 thing then. New idea. New idea. Different idea. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to send it in the Discord general chat, and you guys can all just listen to it. I will listen to it. I had I had, <laughs> I, I had, backups. I had a backup. Here it is. I'll listen to it so fucking. Listen to it through Discord at whatever volume you feel comfortable. Max. 200%. Oh, I have to download it. It's literally like 10 megs, maybe. I'm opening Groove Music. <laughs> Ten gigs. Ten gigs. No, it's like three. I'm, it's literally three I'm, megabytes. I've never opened it. Right. So now, you all hear this in your sleep, and I will begin the message for stream. I'm also over putting Groove Music. What is a physical body? The body is merely an object. It is a form of existence far too impure to store the gods within us called soul. What the hell? Okay, I'm muting myself and deafening myself, so I'm turning. Stained history, material greed, hunger, sexual desire, desire to dominate, desire for fame, life. From the physical body, all of these desires are born, and ego will never disappear. Not so long as desire remains present. Mortals will continue to fight to fulfill their body's desires and it will never end. There is no future in this. You must awaken. Awaken your soul. Rid yourself of that mortal body which binds you to desire and ascend. Blood and muscle and bone, when these are lost, each mortal being confronts their own death. And what lies beyond? Heaven, hell, reincarnation. These are fantasies which cannot possibly exist. Not without you. They are mere excuses. No path to salvation has had the clear vision of reality that we now have together. Awaken your spirit. Shed the constraints of your current physical body. It's not easy living in such an ugly and corrupt world. Be born again in the glow and make a world anew. There is no certainty, nothing to hope for. People are lost. Direwood is lost. 
Let the rock guide you and create the God you need. The gods did not create mortals. Mortals created the gods. Mortals created the holy rock. And through it, you will see your salvation. Rest well now. Much is to come. So I'm just going to go ahead and deafen myself in Discord. Well, that sucks. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes Roll20 is already unpredictable. It's fine. Um, I'm just going to watch to make sure, see when everybody else undeafens. So long as they all get the same message, so long as they all get it. Kind of sucks. I had to restart it and send it to them, but it works. Whatever works. <laughs> I see my Clara had to put on her headset to hear it fully. Oh, boy. That that's it's a stereo too. You got stuff on the left and right specifically that's gonna that's gonna screw her up with the <laughs> with the actual headset on. Oh no. <laughs> see her looking around. <laughs> anyway. I'll return in just a moment once I've seen that they've all seen it. Once she undeafens. That'll be my cue. Oh, she's different. I might as well pop back in now. Not quite as direct as the Rat King uh, in his dream messaging. Please get off my computer. Please get no. off my keyboard. No. Thank you, Oreo. I love you to death, but you're a fucking nuisance. Same, dog. My parents. Uh, will you, one sec. Give me, give me one moment. Probably be a pretty good time to take a five. Do we want to take a five? Um... Okay, we, we we can we can take a five. I'm not gonna move, but I'll sit here. I mean, if we want to take it, I, I don't I don't know if it's. What do you think, um, Clara? She's spooky. I'd prefer not to, just because I'd rather have that fresh in our mind. You're right. What's about to happen? Right. What are we? What did I miss? Oh, or... we're all gonna have an orgy, except it's just gonna be fucking Holden, all of us at once. All right, I'm down. I Holden, be. Holden, do you have enough holes for this? I'll make them. I mean, you're only short one. Thanks. <laughs> what? All right, when Jason returns, you guys will all wake up. And I imagine rush to each other like, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Alistair wakes up with a pe oh. with a piece of paper on his chest, a drawing of him as he sleeps. Alistair's dummy pissed off. He is definitely dreaming about his mother. And just for your guys' sake, because you aren't really these people really living this or anything, I am going to give you this. Ah. Uh. That is that is that is everything that was said in your dream. So if you can't remember a specific part that your character probably would, there it is. Hold on, uh, a really good touch to what I should have done was as the fire died out, have the garden go up in flames. Oof. True that. We took very different spells to replace that uh, psionic blast. Oh, that's not the spell I took. Ah. Uh. Well, anyway. No, I originally had, um, uh, what was it? Weird Sigil? I don't fucking remember the name of it. It was weird like, sigil. you, yeah, I don't know. It, you put the weird color streaks in the air and everybody's enamored by it. Oh, uh, Hypnotic Pattern. Yeah, thank you. Hypnotic Pattern, Weird Sigil, I don't know. Kind of sounds okay. So, the six is sleeping in a bit more than others, but the rest of you awaken. Alistair wakes up and goes, man, fuck. <laughs> Dorian looks at me and goes, I didn't think the drawing of you sleeping was that bad. Not that. Oh. Uh, I'd like to look at the drawing. How is it? <laughs> it was a rough sketch I did before I went to bed, so it's probably yeah. not good. Yeah, it's, it's not a finished product, but the sketch of it is, you can tell it's you. It's actually not bad. That's not what I'm pissed about. 
Oh, what are you pissed about? Did you have the uh, dream too? Yes, I had the dream and interrupted the dream I was having with another person. I just tried to talk to it. It didn't respond to me. I wonder so, if it said the same thing to all of us. Well, I remember the first thing that it said. <clears throat> what is a physical body? Yeah, that sounds like how mine started, too. And I went, something used for pleasure, and it didn't like that response. <laughs> Wait, I thought you said it didn't reply to you. It just kept talking, but I'm oh. assuming it didn't like it. I don't know. I, I'm much more of a lucid dreamer. Do we think... Well, Do you I think this is something that, uh, what was the priest names again? Um, I have it in my notes. Don't answer, Holden. I have it in my notes. I have it in my notes. I don't Just believe you. Yarless? Yarin? It's Yorlin. Yorlin. Jarvis. It's, um... <laughs> oh my god. Yorlin Seer. <laughs> A game Your show, a, a Dire Wood game show where you guys just, I just, like, give it a, a description or a location of a character <laughs> and you guys have to try to guess the name would be astonishing. It would be hilarious. Priest of the Church of the Rock. <laughs> Jarvin. Jordan. <laughs> it's it's Yorlin Seer. Y-O-R-L-I-N-S-E-E-R. -E -E I knew that when it was in my notes. Do we think that this is something that Yorlin sent to us? Well... No, let's think. There's a handful of people who know we were being nosed Nellies. Your <laughs> service. Servius. Uh, nope. <laughs> I have his yeah, real name. Mason. <laughs> Mason. <laughs> Too many ass names. Um, Savaris. Savaris. I'm going to put that in parentheses, but I am very limited to motion because my cat's a piece of shit. You know, why don't you just call him Servia. the traitor? I mean, if your cat's on your lap, yeah. you can't legally move. It's what, Holden? Savaris. S-A-V-A-R-A-S. S-A-V-R-A-I-S? Yes, sir. Savaris. Here's what my cat is. Like, in <gasps> my, it's, it, she's in oh, the robe part of it. She's a baby. You can't move her. Literally, any movement adjusts. If I move, because she's not actually on my legs, she's just in that little fabric between it, she will fall. <laughs> she's a baby. You cannot she move. Is, she is baby. Yes. So, so Yorlin, Savaris, the two people that were lightning bolted, everyone else in the church. That doesn't narrow down the list no, a whole lot, huh? No, it really doesn't. But here's the thing. No, I don't have much knowledge of deities. But they don't tend to reach out to random people. Unless this is a scare tactic and someone else behind the scene is pulling the strings. Much like a puppeteer, you know, they hide behind the string they hide behind the scenes with strings and they're pulling them and puppeteer. My grandfather was a puppeteer. Was he? Yes. Is that in your backstory? Is it written? No, not yet. <laughs> It is now. He has a lot of things that, you know, are not what's yet in his backstory, but, like, definitely there, but not there yet. What, what, what's a backstory? Your father was a, your grandfather was a puppeteer. I mean, fuck, he could have been. Hey, Isaac, can I call you out real quick? Yeah. You have told me, hey, I'll have it finished. I'll be working it on this weekend, <laughs> on it this I weekend, know. like, six times now. I have a separate Google Doc that I've just <laughs> fucking barfed all the points I want to add in there. And I'm slowly going through one by one because I fucking hate writing. I almost failed an English class three times because I hate it so much. Do you want me to do it for you? No. Okay. Because then that you would you would know. So nice. anyway, you uh -oh. guys were surmising yeah. about the dream. Yeah. No, that'll that'll get done while I'm down there because I'm sure I'll have nothing better to do. So. Well, I'm thinking that it was it's a puppeteer controlling the strings. And I don't I honestly know on because they do have magical capabilities. But what that thing said to me um, was not very good. Apart, it just kind of said, um, "Kill yourself." That's what I surmised. Oh. <laughs> okay. I think let we me, definitely took me... that message differently. Yeah. <laughs> Dorian, I okay? definitely took it as more of a um, join us kind of a zombie thing. That's Clara, but... I took it as, you know, awaken your spirit, shed your physical form, be born again, kill yourself and go into an afterlife. We should ask Severus 
because he said, didn't he, that he was, oh, didn't he say he was spoken to by the rock? Or like that, that there was, he was guided towards something? Like maybe, maybe, maybe he had something like this happen to him before he had a rock installed on his forehead? A rock installed. No, I do not want a rock in my forehead. My forehead is very pretty. It is. Thank you. I know. But don't you <laughs> think the rock would just embellish it a little? Let's see. And I kind of use my ability, and now there's a rock in my forehead. <laughs> Wouldn't you like That's to? That's gonna scream. <laughs> this is gonna scream and pretend that it's horrible and horrifying. I go as I expected and put it. Get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> So, I'm thinking we don't listen to that voice. I um, agree with that. Because in the little bit I've read about gods, I really don't think we made them. That doesn't really... <laughs> it, sounded, it sounded fairly sacrilegious to me as well. And I also don't think this ugly is, this world is ugly. I mean, look at this blade of grass. I'm going to just reach down and grab a handful of grass and dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Is this ugly to you? Alistair, is this ugly to you? I kind of like the grass. So, give me your hand then, you can have it. I, I don't I don't want the grass. <laughs> oh, give it to me! I just give you a handful of dirt and grass. I throw it right back at you. <laughs> I close it. Just... Rude. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. I could've. <laughs> but she For didn't. Reason, I doubt that. Well, so I say that is a good enough reason not to go back to that cult for a while. I'm a little bit curious as to one of the last things that it said that mortals created the holy rock. I want to beat that out know, of whoever sent the message. I know there's been a lot of research done by mortals about the rock but I didn't think that mortals created it I mean I guess I never really thought about it where did Hysterion come from that is an excellent question hold on what would I know about that um you would know actually that you think Six might remember something about that. Because you, know? you guys may have learned some things about it recently. But um, I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to put things in your head that you don't actually remember. And uh, there's Me? a lot of... There's, yeah. There's, and there's, there's, a, there's a lot of vague stuff being thrown around that Six had ideas about. We should ask Six when he wakes up his thoughts on this matter. I I know a little bit about Hysterium, but not not enough to uh, really answer that question. I don't know if anybody does, but if anybody does, let's give Six a shot. What about that guy? I point to a random Hulk Ranger. Do you think he would know? Uh, you can try, but I don't I, I doubt it. I really doubt it. You, sir! I'm gonna walk up to the nearest cloaked ranger. <laughs> okay. You just approach a random cloaked ranger. Who's you, sir? He looks at you. Uh, yeah? What? Who created Hysterium? Uh... What? Who created the Hysterium? Created? <laughs> the, Where did it come from? The explosion? This is going on your performance review. I have a <laughs> performance review? Right now, you should, you should better think twice about what you're saying. Is this something I should know? Is this common knowledge? Who are you? I pull out, I pull out a piece of paper and start making notes. <laughs> and shaking my head. He kind of looks you up and down. Are you... Do I need to... <sighs> and he starts walking away. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you weren't expecting a pay raise, and I walk back to everyone else. <laughs> Wait, what'd a you second? find out? You guys are getting paid. <laughs> oh my well, God. that man is horrifyingly rude. Horrifyingly rude. 
And um, he said that the hysterium came from the explosion. Well, yeah. <laughs> oh, you probably don't know about that. <laughs> I have no fucking clue what that's going I, I, I grew up here, so I don't always know what people know or don't know. Um, anyways, yeah, there was a really big explosion. When was it? 15 years ago? About a little more than About that now, 15 but yeah. years ago. And it happened. And uh, after, after the explosion, uh, Hysterium kind of permeated everywhere. And, and it's really toxic. And it made people go crazy. And Honestly, the explosion and the hysteria are what really killed Direwood. It's Where... not a, it, it it hasn't been a safe place to live for a long time. Where did the uh, explosion come from? Holden, would I know anything about where the explosion came from? See, I'm trying to remember a, some specific conversations. That I, what about I, any backstory I wish stuff? Jason, we're here. Um. Any backstory stuff? You no, you wouldn't have anything from backstory stuff. But you would know um, a bit about... You remember those vials you took from Zimber's lab in the castle? Me? No. Yes. Or some... You, you, you guys as a group took? Kind of. Weren't you studying those or was that Zelfer? That was I Zelfer. think that was Zelfer. Then, then <laughs> you're not sure. I mean, uh, I took the stuff about the about the Flurgenat. Oh, yes, and you've read that by now. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know the Flurgenat. You know that Zimmer was using the Hysterium, uh, or um, as a sort of fuel for a new type of magic. Like he was working with it for arcane means and seemed to know a lot about it. And you would know that Malcolm, when asked about the explosion by Six, got very nervous. I would relay that to everybody, and... I guess watch for their reactions? I, I think I'd be watching Alistair, since I know he was looking for Malcolm. Oh, um, that's so what I like. Hey, so Six wakes up um, and approaches you guys. Uh, Jason, were you able to listen to the thing? The Yes, the, the, the dream, yes. Yes, okay. You, oh, you... he sounds so much better. Did you switch mics? Does he no. sound better? No, he sounds the same. That does sound a lot oh. better. Really? Oh, that you certainly sounds a lot worse. Have a, have yeah, a she's, mic she's, she's using your headset now. It's uh, not as, the mic isn't oh, as good as her sorry. Phone. Oh, I can switch back to my phone. Whatever's more comfortable. Oh, for you. it's fine. I was just I thought there was some sort of uh, I don't switch. know something Turn it going off. on. <laughs> Equivalent exchange. Yeah, but six, you approach the group <laughs> and they seem to already be discussing. Well, actually, they currently seem to be d discussing hysterium. Um, and uh, Bess is trying to explain to the others what you guys know about hysterium, but is struggling a bit because uh, Doran seems um, to be wondering where hysterium comes from. And this is about the gist of what you're able to overhear as you approach the group. We're not sure Before where it comes from. Comes over, would anybody give any reactions to what was said? I like mean, specifically, Alistair about the about uh about uh Malcolm. Sorry, does this sound worse or better? It's honestly it sounds, better. Yeah. Okay, I'm using my laptop out loud now, so. Oh, interesting. Um, he wouldn't really give much of a reaction. He was only looking for Malcolm to figure out where Zimmer was. Okay, and Bess doesn't know that, so. Oh, Ooh. I thought. Or did? Oh, my bad. I'm I don't think. Pretty sure he said that, didn't you? I th I think I did. I thought there was a private convert. I I don't know. I don't remember. Regardless, he doesn't seem to show much reaction to that. So, Thank you. at this point, Six approaches. Um, Hi, Six. Yeah, did uh, you have that weird dream, too, that all the rest of us did have? Oh, good. We all had it. Um, yeah. I think it was telling us to kill ourselves. I did not get that. 
Yeah, I really didn't do that. I mean, depending on how you look at it, I could see that message in there. Uh, but I think it probably speaks differently to everyone. Kind of the way that <laughs> the church is attempting to speak to its people. Now, I think this is reason not to go to the church and go about our other plan. Also, we have that one person you want me to figure out stuff about. And I'd like to see the New Republic. Side point. You said you don't know where Hysterium comes from? No one does? Well, it seems sorry. to grow almost. Uh, sorry, Bess, go ahead. No, you go. Sorry. Almost organically. Uh, it seems it seems to grow in places. But it uh, came from... You do not know its source. It and the explosion sort of uh, happened, I guess, at the same time. I assume they're related. I do not know if, if the hysterium caused the explosion itself or or we don't know. And I take kind of my shirt off and I show my tattoos and I say uh, but it courses through my veins. Alistair tips his head at him. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Where did the explosion happen? Um, X years ago. Roughly, no, where? Give or take. Where? where? I can take you there. Your you might... mom's room. <clears throat> that might be a good thing to do later on. Not right now. Um, right now, I would like to go um, and see the New Republic that we planned on seeing because it was my plan, and if it fails through, I look bad. Let's do that. Uh, do we find our, our newest companion? Yes, he is waiting, fully geared and ready toward the entrance of Shine Bright, the main entrance that led leading to the main path. Excellent. Um, I introduce him to Doran, Alistair, and Best. I I I met met Al uh, that one last night. Alistair. That's right. I forgot. I'm the group no, psychic. I'm um, going <laughs> Doran, you said, right? <laughs> That's me. I was told to give this to you, and he <gasps> produces a uh, small rolled up scroll. I grab it, it and smell it. It came via pigeon, which was odd because <laughs> we don't have a carrier pigeon. It was. <sighs> I found it hopping around this morning. <laughs> uh, it... <laughs> But it had this little purple string on it, and as soon as I took this off of it, it, it flew off. So, I mean, it, I wasn't told to give it to you, but the letter says it's for you. I Did kind you of asked, No, I asked the pigeon who it was for. I was kind of joking to myself, and then I took it, and since it didn't, obviously the pigeon didn't answer. I look stupid. Here, just take It's for you. The pigeon it says talked to, to you? It says to Dear Doran on it. If you're, you're Doran, take this. I'm Doran. <laughs> You're so kind. I might not have to read your thoughts later. What? I'm going to take a step away and start reading. <laughs> uh, okay. Hey, that's my thing. <laughs> Let me send it. Alistair looks nope. at both of you nope. and just shakes his head. Delete that. That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> Six is nodding vigorously, uh, agreeing with whatever is going on. <laughs> yeah, what they said. <laughs> All right, there's all of it. So, um, he hands that to Doran. Goes, right? Are we uh, we're 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 going to the middle of the city, full of rats, right? Yeah, I'm ready, super ready. Let's do it. Don't yeah. worry. The, I, I I can speak rat, and uh, and well, I can talk us out of any trouble ever. Well, that didn't work in main gate. <laughs> right, right. Sorry, sorry. I stopped the damn thing, didn't I? Uh, actually, I, maybe I was kind of busy watching my friend die. Why would you watch that? I go back to read it. Seems like a terrible thing to look at. I you guys realize to... maybe you should be a bit nicer to Savar, so you have to pick another NPC to be a complete cunt to? Like, <laughs> Jesus. Uh... It is still rather early in the morning, off? so, yeah. Um, you're... Oh. oh. 
Do you have the note there? Did you did you read I'm, your note? I'm, I'm I'm still reading, man. I, I, it's, oh, okay. I forgot about all the fucking drawings on here. I'm I'm like I'm trying to still engage in role play because Doran's probably better at multitasking than I am. I will go ahead and just kind of outline this. That I will lightly outline. So. Um, are you guys going to head straight to uh, the New Republic entryway? Uh, Six and Bess, you two would know the where it is. Six more so. If we pass through the city, would I be able to show Doran where the explosion took place on the way? Sort of. It'd oh wait, no, we're just detour. basically going from. Yeah, we're just we're going from thirteen to nine. Is that correct? Or to uh, not nine to. Uh... You are heading from okay. You're heading from the woods up here that I'm pinging, okay, uh, to as eleven okay. essentially. Gotcha. Um, well, that courtyard with the giant statues there. What? At this point, Doran has finished reading. Good news and bad news. What's the bad news? When he touched the rock to Yorlin's rock, they didn't stick together. Wait, what? When oh, Doran... okay. <laughs> and what's the good news? The good news is um, I'm welcome to go there anytime. <laughs> I'm allowed to visit the church. Whenever I want, they actually think I'm worthy of the rock in my forehead. Beside the point, Yorlin says, uh, not Yorlin, Zavaris says the rock doesn't speak with words. But with images, feelings, abstract ideas. So then the rock didn't speak to us last night. That's what this says. Interesting. It also says he. It also does say it gives him powers because Savaris was able to make magic in his hand. Sorry. Bess, are you okay? <laughs> Bess almost <Sorry>. trips. <laughs> I almost dropped my laptop. <laughs> Um, it also says he okay, really I'm sorry, what the here. fuck did you just say? You almost dropped your what? My laptop. I thought you said lactate. Of your I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I heard left hand and I was much more confused. My <laughs> laptop. I almost dropped my left hand. How? <laughs> <laughs> what? Impressive. <laughs> that letter says that he does get the magic now be it he was around Yorlin when he produced the image it was a small rock and it was faint but so technically Yorlin could have done it himself and only Yorlin could have magic capabilities but yada yada but it does say he doesn't say it doesn't speak to him with words that is an interesting note he also I mean, it's... He says it could that, communicate uh, differently with different people. It could. He also does say he doesn't want to come back to Shine Bright because everyone was very mean to him. That's fair. That's true as well. He should probably stay away. What about you, random cloaked ranger who's with us? Who I have no, no one's given me a name. I have what no did, idea what you guys are talking about. Um, what did you think of Mason coming back? Uh, the deserter. Yeah. I sort of oh, tossed him guy? casually. I kind of didn't follow his post route. Oh, the guy who rode in with <laughs> the rest of it. Yeah, I I heard about mm -hmm. that. Um, I don't know. Honestly, people come and go all the time. It didn't seem like big news to me. Is Six the only person that knows that he abandoned his route? No. And and Alistair as well. Uh, I think Six made quite sure that everybody is aware that, that is what happened. Okay. Yeah. Well, I lean in close. To the ranger, like, uncomfortably close. He kind of leans back a little bit. He keeps walking and looking at you. Looks toward, looks ahead of him, looks at you. Can I, uh... Can I help you? I lean back. He looks even more confused. <laughs> Like takes a like an extra few feet back from you. You said something about a giant statue. What? I did. Oh, he did. Yeah. Uh, I would personally love to see it. 
I'm sure our close ranger here friend here would love to help us see it too. It's, it's a Does giant... Bess know anything about the giant statue? I'm sorry, I don't know what I know and don't know. Bess, you... oh, that's true. This um, is early enough. You do not. Well, if you don't know, now was... you know. That's right. Uh, and so, realizing this, that no one has any idea what, um, I would uh, I would explain that early on uh, in our adventure, it uh, almost killed one of my most powerful friends. Why would you and want to take us there? Just fucking stomp on Sam. Are you stronger than you were then? Probably. I, I definitely uh, with all of us. Probably. Still, why would you want to take us there? Wismus is like a good five feet back now. <laughs> um, I thought Doran might uh, it might answer some questions he has. Okay, I'm curious. I'd like to see it. I'd love to see it, and I'm sure our friend here is strong enough to take it by himself. I mean, Six told me of your amazing hero capabilities. I, I mean, I can destroy a statue given enough time, but one that kills people? Uh, how? Well, wait, you, you, I, I have some. You said you were able to hear those calls very, very clearly, correct? Well, not clearly. It was more like we kind of heard him and we thought it might be worth checking out. And as we got closer, it became more clear that it was screaming. And then we rushed in is what, what happened. But didn't you hear that from miles away? Well, That's maybe, impressive. Maybe not miles. It's more like, you know, maybe a quarter. You know, it, sound travels a long Someone way. Someone likes to pad their stats. Round. Wonderful. Then you wouldn't mind wearing a blindfold so we can test out how good your hearing capabilities are. That, why I don't see why that would, how that would accomplish anything. Um, it's accomplishing. We have to test to see how good they are. Is now the best that... time for that? Is we're going into a rat infested city? Yes. You have us. We do you... hope to make use of your keen ear. Are you trying to get uh, me killed? Are you if, sure, guys? If your ears are really as talented as you would say they are, well, I'm not honestly saying, to me. They're not extraordinary. Then, you heard something from miles away. That's extraordinary. No, it wasn't miles. I checked your patrol routes to where the city was. That's... Make a don't deception be, check. Don't, don't be so modest. Make don't a be so modest. Check. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. What? That's your second double that one in a row. I would like to link up telepathically with Vi and say I can still interrogate him if you want. Am I able to respond to that? Yes. Yeah. Fuck. It may come to that. I say. As I fuck this up uh, completely. Yeah. You, you, you say he goes. He looks at you. You, why would you have access to the patrol records or the routes or any of it? I point right at six. He told me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't buy it. I was quite impressed. Well, hmm. I mean, okay, maybe you told. Um, listen, listen. These these are loose routes. Maybe we were a little off course. Maybe maybe we strayed a little far and we were taking the scenic route, but still doing our route and. We were close enough to hear. I'm not saying it was miles. It was just far enough away that we'd run a bit and then hop well, on a roof. How far away were out for you? I don't know. Uh, it's not an exact science. Uh, what were you doing? Distance? Just doing... It's not an exact science? Well, not were when you you're just on foot with no tools. No, I understand. I agree with you. I, <laughs> I hear you saying. had two tools on the path. <laughs> I'm just. I'm, why am I getting the third degree for this? We went in and saved people. We certainly did. So what's it's... the problem? Is there a problem with your story? We simply wanted to know what it was. You're grilling me on this. What? What is this? Well, this is us walking into a rat-infested city, and we're talking about blindfolding. Oh. <laughs> Can I ask I'll you guys say. a question? Of course Depends not. on the question. What happened? What caused me to end up here and now with you? Well, You're I'm a hero. I'm not! I just heard people screaming and I went and shot a few arrows and barely did anything. And watched my buddy die. 
And then you guys Why came would and you swooped watch in it? and went, and you, and you, and one guy was like a, a fucking, a fucking star just shooting across the field. And then, and then you were like yelling at rats and they stopped and you were punching the shit out of everything. Well, I don't, I'm not a, I'm just some guy. You belong with us. Ah, uh, I don't think I do. Someone with that kind of hearing belongs with us. <sighs> yeah, Unless we have maybe, the story incorrect. Maybe, maybe I do. No, maybe I do belong with you. Maybe, maybe. Of course, I'm... and let me get your blindfold ready. Uh, <sighs> I don't think that's the best time for that, Doran. Maybe on the way back. Let's let's get to the statue. We can make a decision after that. Why are we going to the statue? I want to see it. I don't want to hit it with something, honestly. Uh, I'll I'll be back here, and he just like just keeps like a five foot, ten foot distance from you guys behind you. Thank you for running. Uh, yes, watch on the rear. Yep, rear guard. That's what I'm doing. Thank you. Yep. I uh, glance back every once in a while and smile. <laughs> every time you glance back, he just looks more and more downtrodden. <laughs> I look back at him. Remember, this. a lot of this goes in your performance review. Wait, we have performance reviews? Yeah, of course. This this could make your career. Uh, Holy shit, my little brother's upstairs above me, and he's so mad at League, I can literally hear him pounding on the fucking desk, and it's making my computer screen shake. <laughs> Holy oh shit. Goodness. Like, dude, right. this Hold on, I feel like that's, this is a call-out post to you for waking what? me up the other day. I didn't know that happened. So anyway, what's the exact route you guys are taking? Uh, so you're going to the statue. So if we're going, you know, from the woods down to toward Eleven, yes. uh, we can still give the um, we can kind of pass through the area, but still give the uh, the statue a wide berth. Um, I would kind of like to. Uh, let me see if I can draw here. Yeah. So the statue though is around here. Polygon. Ground run. zero. Ground zero of the explosion is the green here. Okay. The New Republic so, so, four is a statue, ten is ground zero, eleven New Republic. That's a lot of walking. Oops, that's not right. Uh, how do we and delete that? I will maybe remind you that just between ten and four is like four miles. Oh, right. Yeah, okay. So oh, yeah, we're going my... like ten, twelve miles, then four miles, then six miles, then fifteen miles. So if we kind of enter there and walk Three down hours, through tops. this way, um, we can kind of pass pass by Ground Zero and and the, the statue area on our way through to Eleven. Well, statue's four. Oh, statue's four. I was thinking statue was five. Oh, well then let's just pass by Ground Zero. It's on the way. Let's just go sightseeing at the fucking nuke explosion. Hell yeah. <laughs> I sure hope the radiation's down today. I can show you guys around. Perfect. Hey, why is your username on Discord orange juice? Mm, it was slut and I changed it. <laughs> but why the orange juice? That answers my too. question partially. <laughs> oh. I like orange juice. That's fair. I'll take that. Yeah. We have Thank two you. open bottles of orange juice right now. Because Carson opened, or no, Brian opened an extra one. So you guys walk for a little bit, and you make your way into the tire wood, um, passing mm -hmm. through the gate. Within about 15 minutes of passing through the gate, um, entering the slightly thicker haze of the hysterium haze is, as usual, very mildly nauseating. It's not so bad that you can't handle it but it is always not entirely pleasant but as you're dealing with this about 15 minutes in you hear it and you smell it there are many rats nearby I will start walking into the city and you're like, oh, I fucking hate this place well uh, Doran goes this is really unique and not normal Wismus says are we sure maybe we should take a different route uh <laughs> what are you, a pansy? Sneaky? Are, you, are you a pansy? Uh, no, I've just had my fill of rats lately. But I'm you still hungry. Rat. We both made the same joke. I love you. 
Um, um, let's keep walking. I hope no rats ambush us. Let's be uh, very let's, uh, quiet. Let's take a take a poll here, guys. Do we still feel safe moving through the city? We could try to float down the river. Or I keep walking forward. Should we try to be stealthy to All avoid right. hitting any uh okay? Yes. Uh and I yes. Let's move forward as quickly or as quietly as possible. Alright, you're gonna try to sneak your way through here? Yeah. yeah. Just uh keeping our eyes out. Okay. Um I'll have everybody roll a stealth check then. Double that once. I'm glad you didn't double that one. Ooh. I suppose I should have uh, Wisdom make it as well. Oh. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Um, as you guys advance, deciding to take it more quietly, you start ducking through alleyways, following your map to the best of your ability, and um, basically letting your nose guide you away from the rats. Um, Wismus is actually keeping up quite well, and a couple of times is like, actually, no, if we take, if we go through here, we can, he, he points out other alleyways and other uh, directions you can take that will be less conspicuous and quicker. And it is this seem from experience, or is he is kind of calling it out as he sees it? No, like, he, has he, he patrolled the city before? He seems to know from experience. Okay. That he calls out a couple of times and actually seems to be rather helpful. And with those checks, eventually you guys make your way, I will say, uh, having to divert slightly in order to avoid these rats. I'll make mine white as well. You make your way through to here, that little thin white line. You make your way back around and are relatively right. certain, given that the, 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 the horrific smell has mostly left your noses, that you are clear of any rats for now. All right. On, onward we track. Excellent. Right. Same path. Uh, if we can stick to the path, I think it would be a good idea. Okay. As you continue, the haze continues to slowly get thicker and thicker, and now you can start to see little hysterium crystals, tiny shards growing out of the the ground and various walls and surfaces. It just just almost like little purple specks here and there. This is where it starts to sting the flesh. Oh, God. And you see Wismus, like, pull up a little cloth to his face and, like, covering every part of his body he can with his cloak. Um, it's about when you get to here, where I'm circling in white, that the haze gets uncomfortably thick. And you can see ahead where, Six, your certain ground zero is. It is just a cloud. A thick purple wall cloud that seems to roil and broil within itself about 10 feet tall it's its own dimension you, you hadn't really passed by it this close before or taken much notice but now that you're here it is it is terrifying and six it's every hella. every part of your body that is etched quote unquote with tattoos is aching and you and you can tell and at this point <laughs> six i know you said it jokingly but yes it, it, if there are, is any part of your skin that is not mm -hmm. covered it is beginning to sting and your lungs are beginning to burn okay. getting this close we probably shouldn't get much closer mm. i would agree <laughs> doran it's through there but i don't think you'd survive walking through it how close could I get in two minutes, Holden? If you continued for two minutes, I mean, not not much closer. If what? you, like, ran or jogged, like, you're here, you could get to there. I don't know. Well, let's say if I am, um... Uh... Oh, never mind. It moves up to half my movement speed. Never mind. <laughs> okay. I was thinking about putting myself in that bubble. Oh, my resilient sphere and rolling in <laughs> <laughs> because it wouldn't hurt me in there it wouldn't hurt me in there according to the spell itself 
but then I'd have to get it would take two spell slots to get in and out. But I move so slowly in it, yep. and unless one of you wanted to kick me, but then I don't know how. If to get you back wanted out. to get, if you wanted to pass through the wall of hysterium, that almost seems more like a smoke than a haze. You would have to get pretty damn close if you wanted. If your spell only lasts two minutes. I look into it, and I'm going to cast Dancing Lights, which is a cantrip. So I have four lights, four glowing balls. Sure. Yep. They're about they shed light in a ten foot dim light in ten foot. Yep. I am going to move one of them, sixty feet. Uh, I'm going to spawn them. How far away is the wall? Oh, the wall is like half a mile ahead of you guys. You were just seeing this like thick, purple chunk of smoke off in the distance right now. You are not within 60 feet, no. Oh, I have a 120 foot range. Yeah, still. Um, yeah, if you guys are here, yeah, it is actually probably about a mile ahead of you, but it is such an immense wall, it is hard to not notice when you're walking directly toward it. How much closer are we going to get to it? Are we just going to cut to where we're going? Is it this as close as we're going to get? Yeah, I don't think we can get much closer. Yeah, I would agree. I don't like this. I don't think it's safe uh, at the time. So make observations, but we'll be leaping. Well, fine. I just have my four balls circling around my head with light. What color light? They're all purple. <laughs> Epic. Ooh. So you're just you're just purpley illuminating more luminous purple. More purple? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Noticing this, I go, right. hmm, purple, green, yellow, pink, and I'll just... <laughs> purple somewhat... people, am I right? <laughs> Shut up. I look at, I just look at, I look at six to go, I don't have, to, I, I can't see in the night, I can't see in the dark. That's Not okay, neither can, can I. Oh, I can also do this, and I combine them to make one small humanoid figure. That's fun. <laughs> that is green and it's just walking alongside me can it move i can move it with me okay as a bonus action on your turn you can move them up to 60 feet to a new spot okay you can kind of create like an illusion sort of <laughs> of awkward walking yeah yeah i'm <laughs> just keeping it up with me i imagine just like a pac-man with legs and all i can think of is the meme where it goes bottom bum 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 it's just four little balls that make kind of a humanoid ship that's just like yeah, I kind of imagine more like animatronic, like it is the basic movements of walking, <laughs> but like kind of awkward. It's T posing, its arms like aren't moving. Like if you had to describe walking to somebody, <laughs> like. Or, no, no, no. no it, it is just a cow. It's just him T posing and he's just gliding. His feet don't move. <laughs> <laughs> I could do that. <laughs> just. <laughs> No faces. <laughs> <laughs> what does the cloaked ranger do? Say, looking like as it moves with us. He, he seems bewildered, but you can't really tell because you can't see facial expression because he's covering every part of his skin he possibly can. If we gave you the blindfold now, it'd cover your eyes. I'm almost willing to take that. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. My eyes fucking hurt. Uh... Alright, would you like to reroute or are you going to continue? Well, I mean, as long as we can pass through that area, sure, but otherwise we'll have to re reroute and kind of take it wide. You can certainly try. Uh, I think I we mean... should take a different route. Maybe something like... That is that? DM for perhaps I have not given you a good enough description. Uh, I'm sorry, description of the horrifying thing you see ahead of you. <laughs> is it large? Just... What's that? Is it large? Is it quite large? Uh, yeah. If you were to have to make sort of an estimate, you would say it is nearly four miles across. Is it kind of big? Oh my. It is sort in the of sense of something being sort of not immense. Small? It is sort you of. You said kind it's of yellow, right? Immense. Yeah, definitely super yellow, tiny as hell, Wolfie. really insignificant. Misty I don't P. even know why I mentioned it. Moving on. <laughs> yeah. So you pass by the Misty you. P wall. Ew. Otherwise <clears throat> known as the New Republic's bathroom. Ew. All right. 
We go inside. So you're going you're going for blue? Going yeah. For blue. Okay. Um as you do this, uh, for just a moment, you, you, you're still in this uncomfortable haze where any part of your skin showing is, is stinging. I, um, for that, I will need everyone to make a constitution saving throw. Ah. Let me double check. Based on my roll here. Yeah. Oddly enough, it's one of the things I'm decent at. I have a plus six. I get a nat 20. God, it's not been a good rolling okay. day for me. Luckily for you guys, you weren't that close. You, you were within two miles of Ground Zero, which isn't right next to it. So DC wasn't very high. None of you are going to take a point of exhaustion or any other ill effects that Hysterium Haze can have on you. But it is taking a toll on you. Alice was breathing like a fucking champ. Yeah, <laughs> it is taking a toll on you, and it is very uncomfortable. I'm um, hogging it up. I do also need all of you, with that route, to roll a d6. Uh -huh. All of us? All of you. One d6, please. Three. Five. A four. A four. A four. Oh, one. you lucky fucks. Okay. okay. No one got a two. Hold on, let me double check or six. something. Let me double six check. Six got a one. Something. I did. Six to one, half a dozen the others, what I say. That's that's a phrase. Yeah, you needed a two okay, yeah. So you, you pass through the old abandoned ramshackle marketplace, market tents. It is it is a large plaza of what used to be probably booming commerce. Now just torn cloth and uh, faded embroidery and <laughs> an old cobblestone path that is covered in hysterium dust and probably splotches of blood and various unpleasantness. So you continue yeah. along your blue route. Uh, as you guys left relatively early in the morning, uh, Wiz Wismus at this point you know, pulls down the cloak and is trying to breathe fresh-ish fresh, fresh -ish air again. Um, as you guys are... Actually, let me kind of just roughly check here. So you've traveled about 14. Okay. So it'll be about two or three in the afternoon you guys are approaching now the entrance to the new republic hideout <clears throat> is there anything you would like to do before you enter do i see anything because i've never been here to you no you're just kind of on a an abandoned street what Who's does this? clara need to know to play best for the new republic have i been there what do i know what there. don't i know what you um have six seen... oh sorry what you have seen through sixes or menin's clothes or on their shoulders or whatever is there is a large underground actually clara i will make this easier for you for best to understand that tavern that two-story underground tavern map that you played in the one-off yeah that's the new public bar you're about to enter best has seen all of them. okay um, cool uh there is you would also know there is a fighting pit uh when you go up the stairs rather than taking a left or a right if you walk through the large double doors there is a fighting pit um, okay. Where I don't Menin recommend died. it. You would also know it is full of all sorts of people. Best you 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 would have heard like lots of people, shady characters, maybe semi decent characters. Uh, you would be aware of a man named Durathil. I mean, I think you've met him anyway, haven't you? Yeah, you would have known him. You would have heard of him uh, yeah afterwards as as the rat. Um, and you would know that the New Republic. You would have heard through conversations you were there for that the new republic is run by the queen of thieves um which is you always found strange because it's supposed to be like this free folk with no rules how do they have a queen and why are they a republic it's weird none of it makes sense but th these are loosely the things you have heard and gathered when we were a rat in there you also know cool. it's full of drugs and alcohol and okay food and okay cheese nice thank you so uh, um, Six and Bess would actually notice that Alistar does not seem lost in the least. He kind of knows exactly where he's going. You've been here. I have. I've got family here. What's up there? What, where, is it in that building? Or is it... I'm just pointing random things. Who's your family? My father. <laughs> hey, Doran. Here. Doran, roll a d10. Ah, no. 
Doran points two <laughs> two buildings away from the correct building. <laughs> that one. You needed an eleven. Uh, oh, you're no, you're close. Guess again. An eleven. <laughs> guess again. Say again, Bess. Said guess again, Doran. I guess again. Okay, roll another. <laughs> I'm gonna point at the same building. Watch. <laughs> no, <laughs> he he's like, oh, that one, and it's even further away. Yeah, you go over there, uh, Doran. <laughs> cold. Where are you? Where are cold. you? Oh, cold. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, roll a d5 now, Doran. <laughs> okay, I point again. Okay, you point back like right next to the first building you pointed at. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Warmer. <laughs> That's if, hot. Eventually, if we continue this, uh, Doran, Doran, Doran will probably point at another That's the one. Yeah, at another one to three buildings, statistically, before he points at the right one. That's, That's the one. They're gonna sigh and just keep walking. I keep pointing, get, watching Alistair and wherever he's going and moving my finger to. <laughs> Pace up him. Roll a D2. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Are you actually rolling? No. Oh, I'm okay. Not. I thought we were all waiting for you to roll the D2. <laughs> okay. No, I'm so not. I, I... You are all now aware of where it is. <laughs> Excellent. Was there anything you guys wanted to do? Uh, was Miss Seems uh, nervous? I tell him to uh, keep his wits about him. There's some rough characters in this joint. Uh, oh, you also. I, I think I'll keep myself covered because you... I may or may not have um, dispatched. Well, maybe not quite dispatched, but I may or may not have beat the shit out of a couple of guys who might be here. You probably shouldn't look like such a cloaked ranger. Loosen up. Yeah, is it safe for me to be wearing this in there? Probably not. I don't know. Uh, I have no clue. I've never been here. Uh, can, you, can you turn it inside out? <laughs> it would look terrible. We are representatives. I, well, here, oh, here's I the, suppose. I pull out Six's old clothes. <laughs> <laughs> they, wait, wait, we are representatives. Six is right. I, 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 maybe I'll just turn it inside out. Well, if They're clean. Scary. But we are representatives of something or other, so yeah, you keep it on. I'd <laughs> rather not. Well, then you have to be naked. I like, keep walking. You know what? I, I will keep it on. And he starts taking off each outer piece and reversing it inside out and putting it back on. And it's like a weird, like, you can see the patchwork of the cloth and leathers used in this. And it's it's like a really, once it's inside out, it's it's gross and looks tattered and not good. But, you know, it, in a weird way, it kind of fits in with the New Republic crowd. So it was kind of accidentally a really good idea. You're welcome. Uh did your mother make that for you? No, my, oh, my wife did. Mother, <laughs> my mother's death. You Sweet. have a wife? Don't sound so surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I just took you for someone who was interested in other people. What other people? Men. Orcs. I was oh. trying to make you uncomfortable. I not... mean, you did wander <laughs> off with your uh, with your partner. Listen, I'm not opposed, your... but oh. that you know, I I have a wa I love my wife. I. Listen. Have you ever had an affair? No. <laughs> Do I believe him? Let's <laughs> roll an inside check. <laughs> wow. Wow. This poor man. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> he said no way too quickly. Oh my lord. I, I heard squint, that. I squint at him. I heard that, Holden. Right through the door. <laughs> hey, I Jess, squint. what's your passive insight? Uh, Mine's a 14. Uh, Yours is a 14. Uh, you would probably get the same idea. Okay. <laughs> Oof. I kind of lean in close. You want to know my opinion on adultery? I don't know why it's relevant, but go ahead. 
I don't have a wife, so I, I've never thought about it. <laughs> he looks around confusedly and for the first time starts moving ahead of you. <laughs> <laughs> that mountain has definitely cheated on his wife. As I say to the party and keep walking. I got and say absolutely. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did you do it a lot, or was it just a one-time thing? <laughs> I asked in the back of his I have no idea what you're talking about. I think that is a multiple thing. Was she at least cute? That's what or he meant he... when he said he's not opposed. Was it with the guy who died? <laughs> oh my fucking god. <laughs> As he's walking forward, you see him stop for just the briefest of moments and continue. <laughs> This is much more awkward than I had anticipated. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, I look wow. at Six. So I look what? At, <laughs> I look at Six as he walks ahead, and I kind of whisper, "Do you want me to keep pressing? Because <laughs> this is a little uncomfortable." <laughs> so, what were the two of you doing in town? <laughs> Off of your. Can we stay on hat? mission, please? <laughs> If you guys should answer honestly, we will stop asking. I open the door. <laughs> Six is like, all right, and opens the door for everyone. And you guys start to make your way in to the old abandoned, half-destroyed building where Six and Alistair lead the way to the uh, to the opening that leads underground. You Alistair, guys... oh, does your wife live in Shinebright? As you're walking through the tunnels toward the New Republic Bar, go ahead, Six. Uh, are you uh, aware of a man named Durathil? Um, I don't believe so. My father doesn't talk much. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I don't maintain contact with him very often. No, I'll see him every I, once I in a while. Uh, I don't share anything else. That's that's all I, all I do. Okay. Okay. You guys continue. Um, Alistair and Six leading the way. Um, Wismus just behind them, trying to keep his distance for everyone, but caught in the middle of the group, and Bess and Doran leading the rear. You guys make your way through the old underground tunnel, and the first thing that strikes you, and I've been just kind of glossing over this, because Six, you and the party, the, the last party, or whatever, um, had six, you kind of have a rapport here. You, you go through this, you've been through this tunnel many times and gone past those guards that guard the tunnel several times. And at this point they know you and know to let you through. When you get there, maybe you're expecting, oh, I'm with a different group. They might, they might question me, whatever. There's nobody there. <laughs> and, and the rest of you, I mean, Alistair and Bess, you would kind of know this is a checkpoint. But even Doris, you can, you can tell, like, there's a table, there's a couple tables, there's obviously traps that Six is circumnavigated. Like, this is a checkpoint, this is a stop, and there's nobody here. Wismus, can you hear anything ahead? <laughs> Everybody stop <sighs> moving for a moment. Or stop moving. He closes his eyes. I would also like to uh, to listen at the same time, hopefully. Make a perception check. Because he's going to do the right. same. <laughs> okay, he closes his eyes. And he says, I hear a whole lot of probably not good. None of you are anything. Except six. You, you close your eyes and kind of just listen. And maybe for just the briefest of moments, you can hear like a rumbling in the wall? Or... You heard something, but you can't really place your finger on it. But you did actually hear something. All right. Interesting. Uh, noting that sound, uh, I, I I do say uh, I, I I think I hear something as well. Um, and noting that, and noting what the uh, what's gone on recently with the rats and whatnot, I start to uh, walk with my guard up a little bit. Okay. Yeah. You, okay, then you guys continue to make your way forward after about just a couple more minutes walk. You make your way to the entrance to the New Republic Bar. Where normally, 
as you enter, for, for those who have been here. And, and as soon as you make it to the door, you can hear chatter from inside. And there's the usual, you, you swing open the door, the chatter stops, everybody looks at the door, and then recognizes somebody and goes back to their business. But what happens this time is six, on your guard, you kind of carefully open the door up, looking inside, checking around as you do so, and you swing it open, and there is dead silence, and you see nobody except the barman who is standing at the bar as he normally does and actually sipping on a bottle like straight out of a bottle and he sees mm. you guys enter he, he looks over you see his eyes widen for a moment and he like he nearly spits out his drink he's like his eyes are just wide looking over at you guys Quiet evening. And he just kind of opens his mouth a bit and is, is just agape. And he, he is Business staring down? like wide-eyed right at Alistair. You let yourself go, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> I nudge Six and I go, you just never want to talk much. <laughs> I've, I've noticed. I would like um, to then link tele uh, telepathically with him and ask him what the fuck is going on. Why is it empty? Forgot. You don't have a you voice for him, do you? Do that. No, I did not have a voice for this guy because he doesn't have he one. He speaks like Stephen Hawking. But here's the fun thing, then. Since, <laughs> he's, since he's a mute, I can I can just make up whatever, or he can in his head make up whatever bullshit he wants. So you, you ask him Can't what now? everybody do that regardless of if they're a mute? I suppose. Don't give Holden this power. Don't. I, I have to give him one freebie because I've been so fucking bad at updating you, my backstory. You, you said what now? Nothing. I'll give you a freebie because I've been so bad well, at updating no, my backstory. Well, no, you telepathically... Oh, um, where is everybody? Why is it empty? Oh, they're, empty all, in isn't... The, they're all in the fighting pit. There's a big debate going on. <laughs> <sighs> That's what we're hearing with my dad's that. voice. <laughs> 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 and you, you see him you see him sm kind of smile at you as this is probably not the first time not having a voice he's just thrown like some weird wacky voice at you in your head out loud I say do you ever think of how you might sound if you were to actually speak you see him ponder for a moment he shrugs goes back to his bottle he gives you, you kind of like a little looks. wave over I walk over, not knowing who, not really knowing what's going on. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Just start walking over, going. Oh, he's offering us a seat. Yeah, go ahead. I want this one. Wismus is like uh, very tentatively looking around, noticing it's empty. He like has his hand on his the blade, uh, his blade on the hilt. He's looking around, kind of confused. And he I'd keep that in you your pants, guys. I say. I would keep that in your pants. <laughs> He kind of walks cheater. over and kind of awkwardly stands against the wall, still kind of looking around nervously. Cheater, cheater, she says. Do, do you all go up to the bar? Yes. I, yeah. I, I, yeah. Sure. Six does. I am. I'm looking for... Oh, I forgot to copy-paste my uh, my backstory into my actual... Well, hmm. anyway, as you approach, um, he is looking right at you, Alistair. And um, he actually... I'll keep the link open. Yeah, okay, perfect. Um, because then he says, uh, actually hearing Wismus' voice, he looks over. So, you still playing your silly songs? Occasionally. Sometimes I throw a voice in there. Not that you would know. Right. How about a drink, then? Mimicking your voice, he, sa he does. Um, I'd love one, and I'll, I'll buy for them, too. No, no, no. This one's on the house. And how about... Some food, too. Uh, a knuckle sandwich, and he punches you in the shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> I so grin you guys, there's I... nothing being said. But you just see him reach over and punch Alistair in the shoulder. And then shake uh... his head, kind of like tongue-in-cheek. <sighs> and then reach down and pull out a, a, a dusty old bottle. Pop it open. Uh... Um, I look over to Six and I go, um, his name is Garund. Garund. Gar Wait, I misspelled my own fucking dad's name. Garand. G-A-R-E-N-D. G-A-R-E-N-D. Garand of Rivelta. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Is he related to John Drivolta? Okay, Rick. <laughs> okay. I, the, I look at him. Do you choose not to talk or you just can't? He just shakes his head. That didn't answer my question. I don't think he can. He, he, he okay. hasn't Watch my webcam. He does this. He ate something bad. <laughs> His breath stinks. See, see now I will I will say right now I my facial expressions are going to be playing him exactly because there's not many other ways for me to be playing him. So, you say that and you Oh, you're saying you sold your voice for those amazing muscles. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember he was buff. He as flexes. Fuck, wasn't he, he is actually pretty fucking buff. Like he's he's not a big dude, but like when he flexes, it's like oh shit. How about this? I'll talk for you, and I ma I change my I change my face to match his. His eyes widen a little bit, and he kind of like <laughs> lurches back. I'm a bartender, Tendy Bar. Ha ha ha. I'll start gently claps. <laughs> <laughs> I Wait, he, he, he does this. He does this. I go around the bar and stand next to him. <laughs> no. I start to talk. What do you say? I, I tend the bar. <laughs> <laughs> he's just he's like, like trying to mouth what you're saying. <laughs> I look at six. I'm going to spit in your drink. Cause I think you think you're better than me, he takes, you prick. And he, he takes he takes an empty cup and pretends to spit in it and sends it over Six's way. Uh, I pick it up and mime drinking it. Then, go. Wismus is just what? over at the wall. Oh, what? and then what? Sorry, Six, you cut out a little bit at the end. Oh, sorry. I uh, I, I pick it up, pretend to drink it, and then wince in mild disgust. <laughs> Perfect. I love this scene. Wismus is just over at like against the wall looking at you guys like What the fuck is going on? <laughs> I changed my face back to normal. I have had multiple conversations with myself just changing my face and talking. This is nothing new to me. <laughs> it doesn't surprise me. He looks at you, the, Alistair or um the epic uh, Your father looks at you, Alistair. He looks at you and goes Uh Six nods. I'm gonna go with I don't know what that means. You can oh, like crazy? <laughs> I get to fucking play shit asking... in my DM now. You chose this. I think he's asking if Doran's insane. Oh, not not clinically. <laughs> he looks over at you, still standing next to him behind the bar, and he like. What? I'll uh, I'll ask him what's going on in the fighting ring. Telepathically. Yeah. Well, I'll say it out loud and telepathically. Okay. Now you gotta play this game of double speaking. <laughs> um, well, I'll say it at the same time so he hears it at the same time. So it doesn't really. I. I don't want to think about that. Yeah. So sure. Uh, you 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 ask him what's going on in, in the Oops. yeah, and he says. <laughs> I heard whoops and just saw a giant line get dropped. Now mimicking Doran's voice, he says, "Well, you see, for some reason, some people believe." It would be best for a change in leadership to occur. And as you can imagine, the queen isn't too happy about that. So there is a sort of something happening in the pits where supposedly she is going to address everyone. I don't know, but nobody's here and I've had the place to myself and it's kind of nice. Hmm. The, uh, are you saying this out loud, um, Alistair? I would relay it back. Perfect. Let's go to the fighting pits. That's why we're going to talk to them about helping us. Good. Good. Everything is uh, coming maybe together. Maybe we should wait until after nope. they're done with their conversation. Can you uh, show me where the fighting pit is? I kind of just can. raises one eyebrow at the rest of the group. <clears throat> Stay here. I can, um, Doran. Uh, uh, helping business. Six can show them. Otherwise, if you want to come, we'd be more than happy to have you. <laughs> I... I... I think it's important, maybe, that we hear what they what they're talking about before we interrupt Dor. Oh, yes. he's Doran's gone. Oh, there <laughs> <he is. laughs> we have the guy with the amazing ears who can listen to the wall. I, I can. That is true. Try, and if we blindfold you, it heightens your hearing. Perfect. 
<sighs> you know how OP that would be if it worked in real life? You need to see something from far away, so you put earplugs in and your vision, like, enhanced by five. <laughs> <laughs> What's that smell? I say covering my ears and closing my eyes. Mm. Cinnamon from two blocks away. <laughs> <laughs> my upstairs like neighbors are making... Like, looking for a house. When you're delivery driving, you have to turn down the music to read the addresses better. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. So, what are you guys right. doing? Um, what were you saying, Dorn? We head to the where the fighting pit is. We got Mr. Ears who can listen. All right. Oh, can we call him Dr. Let's Ears? Do <gasps> Dr. Ears. Dr. Ears. Uh, I'm not. What do you think? A doctor. Doctor. What do you think? What's Dr. Ears? Um, we all have nicknames. Dr. Ears. Dr. Wait, Ears. What are your Dr. nicknames? Ears. I'm six. Well, fair. Well, so, I'm one, but obviously a nickname. I am. Um, Doran, or um, Celio, or Ty, or On, or Leela, if I'm feeling spicy. Okay, that sounds like six nicknames. Best doesn't sound like a nickname. No, that's those are his nicknames, not my nicknames. Oh my nickname. god, I hate all of you. But here's the thing: if you want a doc, if you want a doctor, just give me your full name, and I pull out my forgery supplies and set it on the bar, and I crack my knuckles. I can get you one. <laughs> doctor ears at your service. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you write me out a? Uh, a certificate calling me Dr. Ears. Let's do that uh, <laughs> back at the uh, back at camp. Uh, I pull up the link is still, assuming the link is still open, Alistair, you hear in your <laughs> head, what the hell are you doing here? And what the hell are you doing with these people? Um, well, originally, I was looking for a mage by the name Zimmer. I drove too much time in Buffalo. I was uh, looking for a man named Zimmer, but I um, uh, found out that he is no longer in play, and he was one of the names on my list, so now I am looking for the next name. He telepathically, like, it almost interrupts you. Yeah, these guys took him up. Word travels fast. Yeah, I didn't know that until I found they didn't say anything until we went and met a different guy who told me. What a bunch of assholes. Yeah, it was a waste of time. <laughs> I... I, I'm not going to meet an unsuspecting group of people and be like, hey, did you kill this giant wizard guy? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Alistair. Did you kill my mortal Listen, enemy? <laughs> he's only saying what a bunch of assholes because that's this is the story he's been given. And this is his son. Uh -huh. Anyway, um, so you guys are heading into the pit? I'm glad to know he recognizes us. Uh, we're going to head up to the door and kind of listen at the door a little bit first with uh, Dr. Ears. Not in a creepy way. We're not all like piled well. against the door. We're all just like milling like about. Doing it, just all no, I, I am piled against that door. Okay, so Dorian is going to pile against the door. The rest of you are going to try to find a space. I mean, they're two large double doors. Like, you could probably all put your ear against it. It might be a bit of a squeeze, but it, you wouldn't have to like stand over each other. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and just move you guys all together, all down. I will. Uh, I'll, I'll let him know as we all leave together. that we'll be back yeah. in a bit and we'll be having food if that's okay. Hey, sugar. I'm going to snap you, okay? Yeah, go ahead. Um, he telepathically responds, I'll make your favorite if I'm feeling generous. Well, I hope you are, because that's damn good. Because that's my favorite. <laughs> it's my, how do you know? It's like you're my dad. <laughs> all right. What are we here? Are we all making loose and checks? Um, well, you would be, except Doran, as you all kind of go up, <laughs> Doran puts his ear against the door, and then accidentally slips on the handle and flings it open and goes, whoops! <laughs> and as soon as he opens the door, you are, you are greeted by the, to some of you, familiar, um, torch-lit tunnel that leads to another set of doors that leads to the fighting pit. And also, the sound of a roaring crowd. I kind of get up and dust myself. As you mm -hmm. could have told me there was a second set of doors. I wasn't aware you were going to slip and fall through the first set. <laughs> Is it sound like a larger or the same size crowd as, as when we were in here fighting? Oh, Is, God, sounds like much larger. Oh, oh, okay. Packed house. Like kind of concerningly larger. <laughs> Interesting. 
do we have to listen or can we just verge in at this point? We could probably walk in. Perfect! But... I start walking. Well, okay. alright. I'm not I'm not one for reconnaissance. <laughs> Clearly. In we go. Right. So you guys make your way forward. It, it's not a it's this one isn't a long tunnel. And as you get closer and closer, you can hear the sounds. It sounds like a large bickering crowd shouts back and forth you can't discern any actual words but it is a cacophony of noise and as you reach the second set of double doors and you start to open them it it blasts you immediately and i will actually show you to give you an idea of how many people are here there must be just looking around quickly there must be like a hundred oh people in here and in the fighting pit in the center you recognize some of you recognize the queen and somebody else, dressed in fine clothes, looking rather annoyed with her. And then the room is split in a weird and concerning way. Where down the middle, there is nobody but the queens you recognize, her two guards. The queen herself, and then the man she seems to be arguing with, and perhaps his two guards. And then there is nobody else in the kind of middle of the room. The room is literally split. And as soon as you enter, uh, some of the noise dies down as people look over... And, and somebody yells, Yo, it's the Bronze Toads! And then there's a bunch more yelling and shouting. And the queen looks over at you guys. C6. Raises both her hands and, the, and the, the cacophony of sound dies down a little bit. And she shouts, Fine! If this is how you want to do it, they can help! And that's how we'll leave off tonight. I'm always willing to help oh. brave women. <laughs> We'll pick up next time mm. on however you guys are going to help this situation. Not well. well. All right.